Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, there we go. All right. What? Oh, some of a gun. I know. I don't know what the cause of that is. Okay. Well, it's just. It might have been this one that I just fixed. We'll see. All right. So we got a little bit of an unorthodox Hello. meeting here. <laughs> you can hear me, right, Dean? Absolutely, Tim. All right. Good to know. Oh so God. we have a lot. Of, we had several new teams enter the league this season. So we. Wow. So. Yep. So we have, instead of running an 18 Bumble Sleuth, we are going to expand to three Sleuths this season. And that includes the Honey Sleuth, which will be the middle of these teams. So right now at Free Play Denton, they're doing their own thing. But here at Free Play Arlington, all three Arlington Bumble Sleuth teams, plus Show Me the Honey, which is from Richardson, will be battling it out in a double round robin. And we will use those standings to put teams into either Honey Sleuth or Bumble Sleuth. So we're going to look forward to how this goes. Hey, yeah, what is the uh, next, next, day, next day, by the way? The next day after today, yeah, after, yeah. Uh, next Sunday, we will all be at Free Play Dallas for the preseason oh, okay, tournament. Okay, okay, and that okay. will include everyone, Bumble Honey Killer, everyone thrown into one giant bracket, and it'll be a ton of fun. So make sure not to miss that. Um, as they're doing this warm up here, I'm trying to think. Well. No, I think we're going to wait. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You guys. Uh, so you're on the Quantum Bees this season. Yeah, this is yeah. I just came back. Nice. Yeah, so That's it's, awesome. Um, of course, right, there was a off. lot of yep. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, convincing for me on this one. And yeah. of course, in the last one, yeah, I wasn't really, I wasn't really around yeah. that much. Or the snail. Yeah, the snail. Yeah. More of yeah. <laughs> oh god. My bad. I didn't see the snail. <laughs> uh oh. Mm. All right. All right. Yeah. So there was. Okay. All right, same format as League, okay. just normal League. Right, guys. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, same as always. <laughs> okay. So, okay, so Sam, yeah, so there was a lot of convincing on, on an outside source. Ah, so okay. That's, why, that's the reason why I came back. All right, I'm glad you're back, though. Yeah, I've missed having you around. Yeah, so, in the last, yeah, in the, this, the last spring season, right? Yeah, I wasn't here. Yeah, you weren't yeah, here. I was, yeah. yeah, I wasn't here around. All right, here we go. We uh, are starting uh, off. Show me the Honey BG's first uh, set of the day. Like uh, a board. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, that was warm up. Here we go. Solid open here from each oh, here team. Oh. Blue is getting the Warriors up, but Blue invades. They're unable to. Nice job oh, by Emily okay. preventing that form up out of mid. That was, um, All right. So Gold's getting their Warriors up. Oh. Was um, they're trying to get. It looks like they're trying to get Gold add some speed. I like that investment. Oh, oh great snipe there by Mary. Oh, Just got her on the oh rise. My goodness. Great rise there. Uh, only See? one Warrior up for Gold right now. That is Gold yeah. Skulls. That's uh, that's Liam. With that is speed though. So. Liam can do a lot of damage with speed. We've seen oh. it before. They're going to get Virginia up here. So that's two speed warriors up for gold now. Snail's about to come out of the tunnel for blue, though. Nice pick there by uh, by Liam. Okay, they're going to get Jerry speed. They're trying to get Exodia here as gold. And that might be useful because they're going to have to go to Snail before too long. Emily's trying to get a gate as right gate. Going to move over to the left side here. I like this. I like this move by Emily. Even though that might be a more contested gate, it oh. puts you in a better power spot oh. as your team tries to defend the snail. Ouch. Virginia goes down, and Jerry's unable to get up there, leaving Liam as last up. Nice job. They're able hey, to form so, gold apps. Um, What's up? So why Chris wasn't here today? I guess uh, he's, doing, he's doing the Denton one oh, right now. Okay. He's up in Denton officiating that one. Oh, okay. And actually, I'm going to adjust this camera just a smidge. There we go. All right. So now we got three warriors for gold. Ooh, a near oh, queen oh, kill oh. there. Okay, so both teams are fully oh, formed, right. and Snail is starting to move back in the BG's favor. Oh, that on. one queen egg advantage that Show Me the Honey has right now kind of looms large as everything else is kind of in a standstill. Great kill by Liam there up at the top. Oh. <laughs> Great job by Emily tagging these speeds, yeah, trying not to let Show Me the Honey just cook infinite speed drones on them. I like that. Two warriors up now. Um, two both of these blue warriors are vanilla. So since blue has control of the speed gates, I would really like to see this third warrior try and get up speed. Snail's back under tunnel for BG's nice kill there by Liam. KT just unable to stick it. Both teams, both teams get that, uh, get that egg back. Hey, uh, Tim, did you win? So did you win it last season? Uh, uh, I did not win last oh, season. No, no. It. Well, you did. Well, you did kill. Um, Okay, so, of course, you did kill Chris, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, I did a few times. Oh <laughs> I killed Chris there a was, couple times. Oh God, there was a team. There was, I, was, I was thinking about this team. It's called the Chris Killers. 
The Chris <laughs> That seems yeah, a little boys. that seems a little mean. That seems a little targeted. <laughs> That seems yeah. a little targeted. Meanwhile, Chris. Right. yeah, the, the game state has definitely stabilized a little bit here. Both teams are full. Nice kill in the rat there by Virginia. Mary goes down. Uh, meanwhile, okay, so blue's, blue's starting to bring the snail back, but it's very much at the middle of the map, so it's a super even game state here. But the fact that uh, gold has a little bit more access to speed here and blue doesn't, that seems to be the deciding factor right now. Oh, nice queen kill over the middle. KT takes out Emily. Uh -oh. Emily's on last now. So that, that, the egg that KT still has is actually really important now because Emily's going to have to play significantly safer than KT because K, uh, KT's not on last, but Emily is. And you see this at every level. Whenever you're on last, the queens do play a little different. They play a little safer. They take less risks. <laughs> Snail's still in the tunnel. All three gold warriors are still alive and kicking. Very good rates here for all these warriors. Liam hasn't gone down a single time this map. Great pick there, as soon as I say it. Yeah, again, I'd really, all of these blue warriors are opting to just get up vanilla, and I'm fine oh. with that, but I'd really like to see, they have the speed gates tagged. I'd really like them look to prioritize getting up with speed. But getting up three is important. But oh. Snail's out of the tunnel in favor of gold now. Oh, so they're going to have to attack it here me. before too long. Oh, nice wow. pick oh. there by, nice that back. was Colin that nice got that kill. Out. And that snail's back under tunnel again. This is a competitive day map. Wow. Very competitive day map. Oh, great job by oh Emily getting out of there. Just oh, nearly oh, avoids ouch. the Warriors. Great maneuvering there. Oh, Left wow. gate ouch. seems to be the gate. Good pick by KT. Just taking out the drones before they can get to the gate. Oh. I like what I'm seeing here. That snail for gold is moving, though. Oh. Blue has the ouch. more pressure on the map. Oh, nice ouch. bump wow, there by Abs. Wow. Another great bump by Abs oh, to prevent the form. Wow, and now they get really up. Good. That was really good. Great job, oh. Virginia. Um, Jerry oh, goes down there, however. Ooh, nice punish there by KT. Ouch. Liam goes down. Oh. So now last up for BGs is Virginia. They get out through the wrap there. I like Emily just getting higher on the map. If you're ever not sure where to go, just get higher on the map, play safer, take a second. I like what I'm seeing here. This this approach is good. Good prevention there by, by uh, Mary. Come on. Oh. oh, my goodness. Oh, and now Gold is down to one warrior. That Come one on. is Jerry. Snails should be able to move back for blue a little bit here. Gold should Come on. focus on getting oh. their warriors back up. They get oh. Liam back up. Vanilla. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, and Emily oh. nearly avoids the dive. Gets bumped there by the warrior. Stays afloat. Goes and tags the speed gate. Oh, wow. I really like both queens just kind of holding a high position here. Snail's not really moving either way. I would love to see Blue try and bring that snail back if they want to stay a little bit more competitive. Gold's getting up their warriors again. Nice. Both teams are three. Oh, oh. Wow. Virginia goes down. Good pick there. Emily's got to be careful. Uh, once again, all she right. always they're, is. They're a little bit risky, though, but I like it. No, yeah, I'm all for it. <laughs> I'm all for it. I like, I like seeing some oh, fireworks. Okay. Yeah. Great kill down oh. there. Ooh. No. Oh. No, Jerry. No, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, no, just gets chased down there by Mary. Oh, but Emily takes out Mary. So only uh, one warrior up for BGs. That's Virginia. As a, uh, yeah, two warriors up for Show Me the Honey now. That snail's almost back under tunnel again. Oh, my goodness. Good battle of the drones down there. Oh, good bumps. Drone bumps are good. Nice pick there by, oh, and Virginia goes down. BGs did get one up. That's Liam. Liam's last up. Let's see what happens here. Come on. There's still a good number of berries as you see them all flying through the tunnel right there. <laughs> still a good number of berries. Oh, nice rise kill there by Colin. And oh Show Me the Honey goodness. takes map one. Wow. Ouch. Great kill. Okay. Um, by the way, Dean, uh, let me know. Uh, Guillermo said that your fourth teammate is on his way. Okay, okay. Let me yeah, know when so. he gets here because then I can start yeah. with the second Okay, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, my, yeah, most of my teammates have been here yet. Okay, yeah. yeah I know so. Guillermo is and Jonathan is. I haven't seen David. Oh, Jonathan, okay. Yeah. Oh, Jonathan's on your team? Jonathan. Yeah, he's on your team. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a map there. Very competitive. We saw that's a that was really good song. Yeah, that's a six and a sorry, I'm just untangling it a little bit. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh. That's caught kind on of Suffering a little bit of uh, some uh, technical difficulties. There you go, I got you some slack. All right, Timothy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, very yeah. competitive day map. And you wow. look at these KD rates, like eight and three for uh, for Liam, and Holy like crap. all of these blue warriors got like three or yeah. four kills oh, each. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah. Wait, uh, oh. yeah, no, super, super competitive map, super competitive map here. 
As we move on to night map, there's not a lot I'd like to see either of these teams change. I mean, they're playing very competitive, solid maps. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best sets we saw in the entirety of last season out of both leagues was BG's versus Show Me the Honey here in Arlington. So if we can get another one of those going, that'd be great. All right, we're going to go into night map now. one nothing in favor of Show Me the Honey after a really competitive day map. Let's see what happens here on night. Okay, Emily opens to open low. KT opens high. This is a solid open. I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing from both these teams. Yeah, get your Warriors up out of mid if you're going to open high. Is KT going to try and hit the J here? No, Emily decides to leave. Very smart, very smart. Understand you're in a difficult position. Oh, and Virginia falls through the wrap and gets caught by Blue Skulls. That's Mary. Now they're bumping above the speed gates. KT not wanting to give the BG speed. Great job by Liam staying alive there as Mary kind of gave him a haircut. Snail's still in the middle, not really moving either way right here. Virginia gets the gate. Nice jump there. Good maneuvering. And BGs are three up. And they're kind of controlling. Ooh, great job by Emily staying alive there. Okay, here comes KT to flush everyone out of the middle of the map, and it works. No one dies, though. Both teams still three. I wonder how long this lasts. Great job there by Liam. Emily <laughs> gets step ledge, but says nice J there by KT. Oh, and takes out Virginia, but uh, Brenly goes down. Lots of death happening right now. Only one more year left up for Show Me the Honey, and that is Mary. Emily going to try and put some pressure here in the middle of the map. Snail is rolling for the Bee Gees. Good pick there by Liam. Again, just doing a great job. Oh, nice rise kill there by Jerry. And just like that, wiped and locked out are the Show Me the Honey. They're going to try and get one up out of mid here. Great movement by KT, tagging these gates as efficiently as possible in order to get calling up. Only two Warriors for the Bee Gees now. Only one for the Bee Gees. Liam's last up. Oh, and just like that, the Bee Gees are wiped now, but they still have control of gates. Oh, KT in a dangerous spot there. Oh, now Emily's in a bad spot. Okay, here, can, is KT going to try and hit the J? No, Emily gets out. What a maneuver there. And they're able to reform out of left gate. That was, I believe, Speed Liam that just got up. That's the one you want if you're the Bee Gees. But Emily's got to try and get some other gates. KT's doing a great job just following Emily everywhere and tagging every gate that Emily does. Emily's trying too hard to get everyone's speed as Liam went down again. Really trying to get Liam's speed here. Now he's going to leave and tag a gate. This is the one to get. Nice punish there by Emily, but uh, Brenly still did kill the speed drone, so it might have been worth it. We'll see. Good bumps here by Brenly, keeping Skulls out of mid gate. And there, Emily's able to get the form, though. Nice pick there on the dive. Gold Stripes gets up. Now. The Warrior numbers favor gold. Snail's back right up at the middle, so no snail advantage really for either team at this point. Great recovery by Show Me the Honey to bring it back to a essentially neutral game state. Nice pick there over the right gate by Jerry. Really smart and patient play there from Emily, making sure you're established before you start pushing in. No, you're good, you're good. Oh, and oh. Liam bounces off of KT's head. That oh is goodness. just unfortunate. Oh. One sec. Let me check. Let me check. Oh, it's like a uh, Sorry, one sec. Yeah, you can use okay. it. You can use it for casuals. Oh, okay, okay. You heading out? Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. He's All right. Ooh, oh, great ouch. kill there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so now show, uh, KT is on last here as BGs are really asserting some map control here. Nice rise kill there by Liam. That was nice. Let's see what happens here. KT's in a rough spot. Come on. Oh, Jerry does a great job staying alive. Oh, wow. Okay, and Speed Virginia is back up. So now, Show Me the Honey only has one warrior. Oh. BGs have three. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Oh, but can that one warrior do some work? Ooh, bounces off the head of uh, Jerry there. Oh, and Virginia goes down. Meanwhile, now Show Me the Honey's got all three of their Warriors back up. Only two Warriors up for Bee Gees here. Oh, but one goes down. Jerry's last up. Hmm. Oh. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's now. Oh, oh picked God. off in the wrap. That's Emily's oh. first. 
queen death, so still the egg advantage. BG still have the egg advantage. Oh, oh and just like that, out of iframes, Brentley takes her, not takes her out. So Emily's on last now. Very quick turn of events here. Oh, and Skulls gets up. That's Liam. So now Come BGs on. are two. Oh, great pick through the wrap by KT. Liam is last up now for the BGs. Oh, trying to get out of there, does. No, oh, no, no. Oh my god, that's like a triple three on one. Great job watching the speed gates there oh. by KT. Just not Whoa. letting BGs get speed up. Oh. Oh, I don't no. know how oh, Liam no. is still oh, alive, goodness. but he's dancing wow. and it's working. Goes down oh, there. No. no. Well, okay, Liam. but Virginia gets up out of right gate, so BG's still not wiped, at least not long term. Tagging some speed, but right behind is a uh, is Brenly to prevent those speed forms. And there goes KT to tag him. Ouch. Okay, they're able to form Liam, so both teams are two right now. Let's see what happens here. All right, come on. Good job there. Oh, Ouch. nice, nice play there by uh, Gold Stripes. That's Jerry Come again. On. Snail for the first time. Really, this map is well on the side of Show Me the Honey. As we have another really long map here. Come on. Oh. Oh. Okay, speed. Skulls has speed. Looking for a gate. Oh, great, great communication there by Liam and Emily in oh. order to form Liam up speed at a left there. Oh, so there BGs are three now. They can really concert. Oh, oh but both teams are three. Oh. Okay. Oh, and oh, cut no, through the wrap no, by Brentley. No, no, Show me the honey goes up 2-0. No, wow. I mean, that's just clean. Oh, my goodness. I mean, just, yeah, fall through the wrap. See where the queen's there going. Is. Very solid kill there by Brentley. Wow. Two queen kills that map for him. Like, 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 these guys are working tonight. Yeah. Oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so this this Hayden is such a rascal. Yeah, no, no, true, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> okay. Oh man. So we have uh this is gonna be oh. an interesting dust map coming up here. Um it's, um, it's two nothing in favor of Show oh, Me yeah, the Honey. So they they win one more map, they win the set. However, we still play all four. It is like regular league rules. Okay. We might be here a long time if every oh, map goes five, six minutes though. Wow. So True, oh, we might man. be here till like two AM. Yeah, I but I'd love <laughs> to see it. If I'm here till two AM yeah. watching intense killer queen. Uh, Right. Then I'm all for it. Oh my goodness! I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna Shoot. see what's up. Hey, it's better than the rest of the week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How do you feel about your matches coming up? I don't know. Wow. I'm just like, I'm still kind of nervous about it. Like, no. Back. I mean, yeah. that's fair. It's your first. Yeah. It's your gonna yeah, be your like, first game coming first game back. Again, yeah. No, I get it. All right. I'll tell you, these two teams on the cap right here do not look uh, nervous at all. They're playing super solid. Oh, yeah. Very fun. Yeah, yeah. Very fundamentally sound. Yeah. You're seeing all these uptimes in like the 60s, 70s uh, percent, like very, very solid play from both of these teams. Hey, wait, hey Timothy, are you playing today, right? Yeah, I'm not playing today. Oh, you're not playing today. I'm not okay. playing today. I'm in Killer Sleuth. Oh, okay, Killer Sleuth, okay. Yeah, Killer Sleuth is not playing today. It's all oh, okay. Honey and Bumble Sleuth that's playing today. Oh, okay. I heard a map start. I was worried it was this one when I just Wait, saw KT okay. walk up, but we're we're good. Okay. It's the other cap. Oh. Hey, when did they? Yeah, when did they get another other cap? Yeah, uh, that's a that, pretty like, recent development. Yeah. I want to say they got it at the beginning of the month, like oh, okay. the beginning of June. I can't remember exactly when, but it was somewhere around there. Oh. Yeah, no, but it's real nice that we have two cabs here. It's gonna make league dates a lot better. Oh, wow. We can have all the league sets on this cab, yeah. and we still have practice like on the other cab, yeah. like kind of like what we have right now. Oh. Um. Yeah. Hey, so do you have the same team members um, since in the last season? The same, like, uh, we don't. We made some roster changes, but okay. I'll tell you about that later because okay, we got right, a new right, map right, starting right here. Right. We got Show Me uh -oh. the Honey BG's map uh -oh. three. BG's fighting oh, for their right. life in this set. Uh -oh. Come on. Come on, Emily yep. and Jason. Okay, I'm, a, I'm obviously a bias. You're biased? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of know him from my. I, I try my to stay impartial. Days, yeah. I like oh, to yeah. see good Our play. Music, yeah, yeah. I don't care who it's coming yeah. from, I don't care who makes that play. I like to see good plays. <laughs> Uh, we got some good plays here. We got all both oh, yeah. teams already got all three up. Snails in the middle, kind of moving a little bit in favor of the BGs, but we have Cullen down there just entrenched. Wow. Okay, now now the BGs are a little entrenched. Great job staying alive here by all these warriors. Ooh, great pick there by Colin. Takes out um takes out Jason. Oh nice J by Jerry, but blue abs was established, so no kill there. Snails really starting to move in favor of Show Me the Honey now a little wow. bit. 
The BG, oh, nice kill on the rise there by oh, Emily. On. Takes out Speed uh -oh. Mary. So, like, uh, Gold has Ooh. these Speed Warriors, so I'd really like to see them try and assert a little bit yeah, more map right. control here. Not Ouch. just like that. Just Ouch. like that. Ask it, you shall receive. Great kill there by Liam. Hey. Yeah, just kind of stalking KT from the beginning. Sure. But that snail is moving in favor of Show Me the Honey. So, like, um, the egg advantage is in favor of Gold, but Blue has the snail pressure. Oh. And we're going to see which one of these comes back to bite a little bit more. Emily's going to go down there to put some pressure down there. Hopefully, maybe clear the snail out. Oh, on, nice pick on. there oh, by Liam. Come on. come on. Ouch. Yep. Good job by KT oh, tagging yeah. all these gates while Emily is down there. Good job popping the snail. Oh, oh, great. No, Another no. great J by oh, Jerry. No, no, no. Lots of units down at the bottom of the map, oh. but somehow none of them die. Jerry takes wow. out someone. Uh, Colin oh. went down. So now, show me the honeys, oh. too. Oh, my God. Yeah, close call there. Wow. Okay, Colin's able to get right back up. Come and so is Brentley after he went down. Gold is still three, but show me the honeys once again three. Jerry, okay, Jerry goes down. See, Jason a little bit of has a nice sweep there, kill there by Virginia. We got a little standoff here between the Skullses. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, dangerous spot oh, for Emily. Oh, oh, it does go down. Good oh, pick by God, Mary. That hurt. Mary does a good job on the punish there. Both queens oh. have an egg now. These speed warriors of uh, Mary and Liam oh, are going oh, to run oh. wild on this map if given the opportunity. Nice kill there by Liam. Oh, a nice oh double kill there by Liam. Only one wow. warrior left that's, for Show Me the Honey. Like That's basically my favorite One Direction member. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Harry. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll, all right, that's fair. Oh, great pick there by Colin. Takes out Liam somehow. Not only one warrior for Bee Gees. That is a speed Virginia, though. Ooh. They're, like, really ravenous with that snail right now. Yeah. Snail isn't moving a ton, but Colin's doing a great job escorting it. Really like to see this. Yeah, Colin? Yeah. I haven't seen Colin in a while. Yeah, I usually see him in Richardson. Yeah, he. I mean, this is the Richardson team. Oh, this is the Richardson team. Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, so everyone's fully formed now. We got lots of speed. Well, they're trying to get Jerry up speed somewhere. Oh, and KT just a little bit rough on the J. Oh. So now KT's oh, on last. But the, the speed oh drone did get taken out. Nice kill there oh, by Liam. No. Now the snail's going to be able to move back for free a little bit, assuming they keep oh, killing these drones. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, good job by Liam staying alive. Yeah, Virginia yeah. nearly takes out Renly there. Yeah, I love the whole cat and mouse game right now. Yeah. Ouch. Jerry's able to get up. Ooh. Rough oh, no. kill in the wrap. Oh, oh. Uh, Virginia oh, goes down. Yeah, yeah. Good prevention there by Emily, though, over left gate. Come on. So both teams, too, right now. They're both trying to form their third warrior. I really love this speed investment that they're making for Virginia here. The BGs are. Oh, my goodness. Oh, great wow. bumps. Virginia's able to get about a mid Woo. in the middle of all that mess. However, now Virginia's last up because all the gold warriors went down. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Yep. Oh, we have a speed snail here for blue. Meanwhile, Emily goes down. Great pick there oh, by Brenly. No. So that blue snail is chugging away a little bit, and Virginia goes down. Nice pick there by Colin. Blue is white or gold's wiped. Trying to get someone up. It looks like they're going to be able to get Liam up out of right gate, and they do. Emily's in a tough spot here. That snail is just running away. Emily just trying to get warriors up. Is able to. There are two now, but those two need to report to snail. As it starts to run away, Jerry goes down there. Oh, my oh great kill Ouch, there. Pops the snail rider. Oh, oh but goodness. nice oh, J by goodness. Mary. Ouch. Mary takes him out. <laughs> Here we go. They're investing oh. in speed for Liam, but there's not a sword down there for gold in order to stop oh, come this on. snail. Come on. It might be hero time, oh, no. but come I don't on. think they realize Some, it. Somebody, somebody help. They're going to be able to get someone up out of left, but there might oh, not be God. time. Ouch. And show me the honey. Oh, Takes the first set of the day, 3-0. But we still play Twilight. Uh, we will still play uh, Twilight. But we're not watching the movie Twilight? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No, this is so much better than that. Are you kidding? <laughs> well, this is so much better than that. Well, yeah, it was... All right. It was, it was kind of embarrassing for Edward and Bella. Like, I mean, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, anyway. <laughs> but we're almost there. Yeah. Oh, wow. I just saw Craig walk in, by the way. Oh, Craig? Oh, Craig? Yeah, which okay. means... Yeah, which, so we have another sub ready okay. for you guys. Okay, Hey, could it be you though, right? What? Could, could it be you though? No, it cannot oh, be me. It cannot darn. be me. It cannot. No, no oh, one darn. on a killer sleuth team is allowed to oh, sub. Darn. Well, at least I tried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we go to Twilight oh, now. <laughs> Three, nothing here. Oh, here we go. Uh oh. Time to see what happens here. 
So Show Me The Honey has already won the set, but we still play out the fourth map because it's big in tiebreakers and just team morale. Like, if VG's managed to take this, they're going to feel a lot better going into their next, stuff like that. And then, by the way, after this set, we will have games going on both cabs. So we are going to start that up. Bit of strat talk between these teams, but I'm always fine with that. Hey, uh, Tim, do you ever play game? Do you play games at home? I do a little bit. I've been doing a little bit of retro gaming collecting recently. Like I have a I have a SNES that I bought back in like. Oh, I'm kind of jealous, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's old. It's well, it's old school for me. It's not old school for a lot of people, but like, is is it's definitely old school for me. Uh, but I really like it. I've just been slowly amassing that collection as I can afford games and stuff. But I, I'm money's tight for me right now, so I can't spend too much money on all that. Um, do you have a credit card or anything like that? Credit card? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I I'm, not, I'm not that young. <laughs> I, have, I have two. And of course, always be responsible. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, oh, here we, go. Let's go. we got Twilight here. Uh, Show me the honey and uh -oh. BGs. No more economic advice. We got killer queen advice. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, we got three berries wow, right off the bat for oh each of these goodness. teams. So we got just full berry flood going. Wow. Uh, getting up speed yeah. here so. is going to be Liam. And Liam, okay, looks like Liam's doing okay. some primary ledge work here. Chex doesn't have a berry, unfortunately. Oh. Nice pick by oh, Emily, taking out the speed drone in the wrap. BGs are slightly ahead on berries here. Backdoor berry coming for blue abs, nails it. Backdoor berry coming for show me the honey. All right, so it's uh, BGs are still up on berries, but these backdoor berries are going to start shredding. Uh, oh, okay. Wow. So BGs have two warriors up here. So they really need one ledging against the back doors and one ledging against the front doors. And it looks like they have oh, okay. one ledging wow. against each side. Nice job there. Good stuff. Oh, oh. Uh, well, yep. Ouch. Another backdoor berry coming for the BGs. Okay, so we're on, we're tied on berries. Four out to four out. Make that three out for gold, though. Come on. Oh, oh, nice queen pick oh, there by it. Liam. Wow. Gives up a berry to do that. that was great. <laughs> Come on. Another backdoor berry coming for the Come BGS. Uh -oh. Two out now is gold. Oh, ready. Oh, and that's so unfortunate. Bouncing oh. off the drone's head and right into the opposing queen. Oh, good job on that hive clear by Skulls, though. Wow. One oh, berry out now wow. is gold. Oh, come on. Let's see who can get this, these berries in. Oh, and KT goes down. Nice pick there by Emily, but here comes the last berry. Oh, no, no, they just missed the jump. Oh, great sweep through by Liam. Takes out everybody. And the berry goes in. Oh, wow. The BGs will take a map from Show Me the Honey, but Show Me the Honey still wins the set 3-1. All right. And I'll get these other, I'll get these other games going. Yeah, I believe you're going to be playing soon, so. I'll get back on here whenever the next game is set up.
All right, I believe. What? He's ejected all. Yeah, John cannot get up. Any of the other subs can do whatever they want, whatever they the team needs him for. But I just gave that to John specifically because he's a killer level player. Yeah. So I'm like, objective only. Yeah. All right, so we have games going on both cabs now, which is great. If you want to see Show Me the Honey versus Quantum Bees, that game is going to be at a on FPKQL3, that's the Twitch channel. But if you're here watching this one, we got Death From Above, Bee Gees. Just saw Bee Gees play. This will be Death From Above's first map of the, I guess this is technically preseason. That's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, true, new look Death From Above. We got David Queening instead of Keelon, and we got uh, we got Jason as the new new pickup. Playing, a, yeah, that's gonna look good. Meanwhile, we got the BGs. Uh, they're start. You just saw them play. Same team, same formation. All right, here we go. All right, one second. I'm gonna queue up. All right, here we go. We got day map. Uh, show me the honey. Or um, not show me the honey. We got death from above versus BGs. Here we go. Solid open here from both of these queens. We got two vanillas up immediately for death from above. And uh, it looks like we got some double speed action here for BGs. So we're, we're going to see what happens which seems to be more advantageous. Both teams are fully formed. That snail is moving in favor of gold as we have Oh, great kill there by Jerry. Great pinch by Jerry and Liam. Take out Sean in the tunnel there. So only two warriors now for uh, Death From Above. Nice form out of mid. Uh, Sean gets up speed, it looks like. Yeah, he's got speed. So two speed warriors here for each of these teams. Um, oh, nice pick there. Keelon goes down. Liam takes him out. Oh, a nice move there by Liam. Takes out, oh, great kill by Sean above the snail there. Oh, but goes down in tunnel and blue is white now. They have a speed drone looking to get up. Oh, nice kill by Liam, prevents the form and somehow stays alive there. Bee Gees are asserting some map control now. All gates are belong to gold. They're looking right, oh, great chase there by Jerry. And now gold has Exodia. This does not look good for death from above. However, I know they can get, I know they can make some magic happen. Nice kill there. Liam takes out David. That's his first life, though. T and Snail is still in tunnel, so plenty of time for this to turn around in an instant. But it might be rough. Oh, nice queen kill by David. He gets one back. Takes one away from Emily, but blue still wiped. Snail is now, like, pretty bad. Nice pop there by David. All right. Okay, sorry, I was double checking things on the other cap. David goes down, that was uh, Emily that got that pick. Snail still moving. David misses that J a little bit, now he's in a bad spot, gets picked up by Jerry. Bee Gees win on day here to start us off. I mean, Bee Gees, they, they locked that map down and they, didn't, they never gave it back. They were killing drones everywhere. Emily did a great job tagging gates. All right.
So one nothing here in favor of the BGs. Big thing, big thing for Death from above is just stay alive a little bit longer. When they were up, they were doing a really good job asserting that map control, moving that snail. But they just got to keep it. They got to stay alive. Got to keep it pushing. David is a newer queen. He's a very experienced player, but a newer queen. So like, keep his job as easy as possible by staying alive and keep pushing that objective. Meanwhile, the BGs just look great. I mean, just complete like 180 from what we saw from them last set. Very competitive maps. Very. Like, they, they got up, they got their speed up, they were investing in speed, and it paid off big time, especially during that lockout. So this night map's about to be interesting. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking over at the second set right now, making sure it's... Running smooth, making sure we got games going. You want you want a cast? Get a stool, bro. Or a chair. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got a second commentator. Meanwhile, we're going into night map. Uh, Death from above versus BGs. One nothing BGs. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, that's the right one. Okay, so we have David opening low and Emily opening high. Both teams. Blue doesn't have a warrior up yet. They do now. They barely get Joe up out of left gate. Blue snail is moving though. They're nice kill there by David. Takes a out a bunch warrior. Of speeds. And able to stop that speed from getting up out of mid. I like Sean this. Gets up. Sean's down with speed. It's a little hard for them to get up. Keelan's looking. Yeah, the only warrior that's up right now. Okay, but they're holding Blue a good lock. It's hard for Keelan to get up, and he's just running around with speed. Hopefully, he doesn't die. He has he that right gate. right gate. There he goes. Iframes. But he's only now for blue as both of the other warriors up. have Is gone that down. Is worth it, though? He's, he's been fighting him for a while. But let's see Keelan's warrior. He's going crazy. Yeah. We all know what Keelan Queen looks like. There we go. Pop the snail. There we go. Yeah, snail's still in the middle. So plenty of time for these blue warriors. They're on his head. Oh, and they great him pinch. Air pinch. By, uh, that was Virginia and Jerry that pulled off that pitch. Now blue's wiped once again, but they're holding mid gate here. There they go. And they're going to get Joe up here. Nice escape by David. Scared about the Takes pinch. out Liam. Oh, you don't need to fight that snail by yourself. You need to attack some gates, brother. Uh, meanwhile, Joe's probably got to move there over to go. Snail There's really checks. quickly. Okay, they get Sean, Sean up. Is up. Sean's going immediately for Snail. I like that. Snail's getting bad. You need to make a move on it. Now they're going to try and get Keelan up. Keelan's looking for a gate. There's one. He's going to get up at a right gate. So Okay, so gold's only two gold's here. Gold's one. Gold, or yeah, gold's two. No, nice no, kill one. on the rise by Joe. That's speed skulls for death from above. Gold's won. Yeah, and David just kind of holding a strong spot right here. They're forming so many speed babies now. Nice pick wiped, there by David. Kind of a bait, kind of a mantis, and I like that. They're white, but they're not tagging gates, so it's very easy for them to get back up, and Abs is running a berry? Hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> he's got one berry in, and now he's now Some, he's in speed. Sometimes as a speed drone, you got to just run a berry to stay alive. He wasn't speed. He oh, just okay. ran a berry. Well, he's speed now. <laughs> nice oh. pick by David in the wrap. That's the first queen kill of the game. Emily is down one egg. Still the, first, still the first one, though, so plenty of time. Keelan looking for mid-gate. Is Virginia going to stop the form? Yes, good job there. Keelan's got a right. Okay, Keelan's barely. about a right. So three Warriors now for death from above. Meanwhile, Jerry takes out David. Neither team has an egg advantage anymore. Snail's back on rope. That's what we want to see. Fighting that back. Great job by Jay David realizing that you didn't have that J and getting out of there before it was too late. Snail's moving for blue despite gold kind of holding up. this top ledge. There we go. Nice pop there by Virginia. Holding their holding that right. Oh, gate. and Sean goes down as both of these blue speed warriors flying up through the wrap. Holding that right gate is kind of helping. And they finally tag it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I there like this. Go. I like this eat here by blue. None of the gold warriors are above your head, and you're gonna blur them into a more dangerous position if they try and pop you. I yeah. like that. Oh, Wait, <laughs> Jerry almost picked Keelan's, off David in the wrap. Keelan's only. Yeah, he's holding a gate that his team doesn't have, so he's not really adding Keelan a lot. Needs, nice Keelan kill there needs, by David. Keelan needs to be working with the queen, try and get some gates up. Yep, nice pick by Keelan, though. He takes one out. Oh, great job by David staying alive. And now he's got to find a way to attack this gate. Keelan's got to put some extra pressure here. Nice bump there by Keelan. And that fe that feeds the queen there. Now Blue's going to be able to get back they're up, and Snail is off road. They're forming a lot out of center. They're two out of center. Yep. Got one more speed on Blue's side. Nice kill. There's Another one. kill by Keelan. Keelan's putting in some work as Speed Warrior. Gold is only. And then, there they go. Gold is still one. Yep. Emily trying one to get some of these down, gates, back up. David's going to tag the Speed, and I like this. They're locked out of gates, but... They have left. Gold has left. 
Stripes is finding his way to the snail. Gold is one. Blue's, in, Blue's holding good spots abs. here, so great job by David. Going looking for speed. Never oh, mind. Liam one. goes down, so the only warrior left for BG's good J by David. The only warrior left for BG's is Jerry. Abs is looking up, though. Abs is looking for speed. Or yeah. Abs has speed. Yeah. For that gate. Is Keelan going to go for it? I don't think Let's it's worth he it. He goes for it. I, Keelan playing safer as a speed warrior than he did as a queen. And maybe that's all you need. Yeah. He had that, but he didn't go for it. Yeah, Snail is in the danger zone now for Bee Gees, though. They got to they gotta all Both all hands on deck to stop the Snail. Good pick oh, by David. One. Oh, David's lower than he needs to be. Both teams fully great, formed. Great Keelan's bumps in the little, by Keelan's great. in the little tunnel. Yeah. Watch your head. That's a queen. Yeah, only one more you're left for. Oh, oh great sweep through goodness. by Joe. Joe's going crazy. Needs to work with center, work with center. Yep. Sean's back up. Joe playing out of his mind right now. <laughs> this is great. Joe, the former objective for death from above. It's Sean's down there only. Yeah, Joe is still the last one alive. He's still scary. They need to play this slow. They're they're rushing this. They're rushing this. Yep. A nice collapse by Virginia and Liam to take it's out okay. Joe. Keelan did manage to get up, so Keelan's Blue's not wiped. Slow, oh, he but he gets spun himself. up at the top of the map. All right, they're losing pressure here. They're losing pressure, but it's still tight. Yep. Meanwhile, the... Uh, the Pineapple jump to left. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going to go for it again. And he gets it. There we go. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I was adjusting something on the other cab. The other cab set just finished. I believe it was a 4-0 in favor of Show Me the Honey. So they're looking real good to start off this season. Mm. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Gold getting... Okay, so both teams are getting their Warriors back up. Snail is still way on blue side. And the egg advantage favors blue as well. Emily's on last. David isn't. This is looking like a one game for blue, but it's starting to... Like, oh, good kill up at the top by Jerry. It Takes out Sean, I starting believe. Starting to lose it. Yeah. So Keelan's there kind of defending some snail. I like this. He's not in danger of getting pinched right now. David's playing a little scary right now. There oh, and goes. Jerry takes him out. And now they're, they're and one. And now that's famine. One. That's famine. Two warriors for each team. But it's Let's two speed versus Oh, oh great look. kill there by, uh, by Sean. Oh. Sean's put in work. Yeah, only one warrior left for uh, Bee Gees. That's Jerry. Just need heavy Both queens on defense. last. Jay just puts heavy work oh, here. Oh, risky Jay there by Emily. Oh, and oh, Joe takes him out. Death from go. above fights it back. It's one to one. Well played, Death from above. Looking very scary. And what was the score? In favor of you? Okay. I'm just making very, sure the right. Very scary. Yeah, no. For Death from above there. I mean, what a map from Joe. 70% uptime, 4-3 with the queen kill. Those are solid numbers. David doing a great job not trying to play out of his limits. Keelan putting in some work. Yeah, 53% uptime for him as well. And that bump assist on that bump assist was a queen kill. He got some way. pretty important kills, even if they weren't many. Oh, it was. I'll say that. I'll say that. Yeah. My yeah. man Jerry, who's normally sitting right next to me. 69% uptime with two queen kills. There we go. <laughs> I'll give him his flowers. That's what we like to see. <laughs> All right, going on a dusk here. Yeah, so this is a pivotal dusk now that it's 1-1. One, one. It really is. I will say the Keylon Point leadership, or the Keylon Point, like, leaderboard is going to look a lot different now that he's a warrior instead of a, uh, yeah, instead of a queen. Because usually you can only get three per map, but now it's like, if you can just hunt him down, he'll keep going. Yeah, but is it worth it? to just constantly hunt down a drone. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the longer the map goes on, the more kills you get on him and yeah. But we're going to we're going to see where this goes. Uh It's also going to be interesting to see whether or not these teams stick with snail or if they switch to berries. Cuz I know right. I know Sean is a big proponent for berries. I know, he's So we'll see. I you can see it, you can see it. He's looking for it. Yeah, we'll see we'll see what happens. Because Death From Above has also been known to run like splits and stuff, so we're gonna see what happens here. I'm trying to keep my commentary unbiased. These are both Arlington teams. I support them both greatly. They're both great teams. Like this is this is very close. That was a yeah. six, six and a half minute map. <laughs> That's insane. They went to famine. <laughs> I know. I mean you see famine on night a good bit, but like still, famine on night is crazy.
All right. All right, we got some last minute track talk happening. Meanwhile, uh, just to recap what happened on the other cab, because y'all couldn't see it. Uh, it was 4-0 in favor of Show Me The Honey over the Quantum Bees. So Show Me The Honey is 2-0 to start this double round robin. Quantum Bees is a very new team, that's the thing. Yeah, that was the first set they ever played. Uh, I bet they're, they're still probably working out some of the kinks, but it's hard. I don't, I, is that their full team that they played? No, they are missing one of their members. I think four of them are here and they're missing one. Yeah, because I saw John filling in for one of them. John is filling in as, as their objective, but I told him that he is not allowed to get up as a warrior because that it would not be a fair representation for where Quantum Bees should be seated because he's not actually on the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing some pretty good coaching, though. I will give him that. He's doing some pretty good coaching on that side and helping them kind of get, get their, get their uh, bearings together. Let's get the map going. Let's get the map going. Guys, you got to play the game. Okay. Well, let's get the map going. <laughs> DFA is getting cooled right now because of. All right, here we go. There I'm not. We I'm, go. There we go. I'm not gonna give them that long between next maps because that's gonna hold up this whole event. But yeah, here we go. Death from above. BGs. Map three. Pivotal dusk map. It's one to one right now. It's huge. They both, both open, open high. Sire, open okay, high. so we have snail. That's berries okay, so for we got dust. berries for death from above, but snail for BGs. Oh, and Joe immediately goes down. Great Joe kill going, there by Jerry. Joe going for his uh, his. Oh, nice oh kill there by goodness. Keelan. David just avoiding this speed warrior like his life depends on it because it does. Oh, and a nice kick and berry nice there kick too. Nice kick in. There we go. So three top berries in already. Not another great kill That's by Keelan. Pick. That's four top seven, but that snail is running snail away. Snail is gone. That looks like a speed snail. I think it was for a second there. Okay, now they're both down there. If they can start bringing the snail back, then they can. Oh, nice pick there by uh, by Keelan. He's six and zero this map already. Dismo's gonna start pulling it back. Yeah, if they start pulling that snail back, then they're really gonna be in control of this map because they that berry pressure is pretty large. They've still got six in, which is a huge lead, even though they're missing Coolberry. But yep. Oh, great form prevention oh, by David. Oh, there's a kick in at seven. That's two kick ins that David has this map. Call him FIFA World Championship. Yeah, I mean Copa America's happened across the street. He should go sign up. Let him in. <laughs> there we go. Pushing Snail back oh, to the center. Oh, great picked. kill by Liam. Takes out Sean. That Snail is moving again. However, it looks like they're going to try and push some more of these berries in. I was going to say, it's, Snail has gotten to a point where they can kind of All just five tops in for Death From Above. That's oh, big. Go. Great job by the new Death From Above member, Gold Jason. Is, Gold is, that last uh, berry. Gold is two, but they're both speed and blue. Joe is holding on to the snail for dear life here as David trying to escort these last few berries. But great he job just, here on ledge. Just get the warriors up, play it slow. Yeah, you he have a, you so have a lot much of, of time. a lead here. Yeah, with uh, with Joe down there holding down snail. Queen's down there too. Now what I'm worried about is they have some newer warriors like Keelan and Joe. This is their first season playing warrior. I hope they don't fall into the common new player trap of thinking, oh, I can get the last berry in and don't focus on getting back up. Uh, Although at the moment they don't have any gates, so they might have to. Yeah, I mean, it always oh, happens. Oh, lots of bumps up at the top. One berry There's out now one, is blue. Another pick by David. Do they? Are they going to go for that last? Are they going Oh, and Chex has they, it. Sean gets berry. the last berry. There's and Death from goes. above is up two to one. Cab. He's celebrating. You know, he's feeling it when he walks off the cab. Pivotal, <laughs> pivotal dusk map. There we go. So right now it's there. looking very tense for Bee Gees. Yeah, two to one here. We're going into a Twilight that has ramifications. As two kick-ins. Two kick-ins. Thanks to uh, David. Yeah. Go join uh, I mean, Chile across the street. I mean, David just doing a great job just controlling the map. Just like not like. No deaths? Yeah. The gate percentage definitely favored BG because there was a long portion at the end. But he was just controlling the ceiling space above his hive. And if he starts doing that, then it's really up to Emily to try and get him out of there. I mean, Joe stayed alive. Joe stayed alive for a while. Yeah, Look at Joe, that 80% uptime. Yeah, Joe was holding on to that snail. He was the, the one thing keeping that snail from moving there at the end for the BGs. Looking good. Yep. BG's definitely feeling the pressure, but yeah. we're 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 doing okay. We're doing okay. I'm gonna queue up the next 
matches. Oh, wait, I can't queue up that one yet. I messed up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This guy. I'm sorry. First time running a tournament. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Two to one in favor of Death from Above as we head on to Twilight. And this one Let's matters. Here we go. Here. Let's see the open here. Oh, a bit of a mirror oh, open here. I like oh, it, though. Oh, Bee Gees win middle. We got is. three berries in for the Bee Gees right off the bat. They're immediately looking to get that speed up to ledge. But it doesn't look Are like they're they running it in. Oh, no. There, there's the ledge. Oh, oh great. Jay there by Emily the takes out Joe. But Blue has all the gates here. So that great queening by David. That was fighting to get up is now just down. Yeah. Wait, they've got, they've got back doors coming. Checks and stripes both running back doors. Finally gets an answer. Oh, and, and a kick in Barry lands for Blue. Oh, but David goes down. Nice job there by Liam. Another kick in thanks to Keelon. Yep. Ooh. Seven to five on berries here. and Yeah, Death from Above is well in front. That's and now two more. That's nine. Yeah, only three berries out here for Death from Above. Nine to five looking like a day job. Liam is there, though, on ledge, and I can't imagine Liam's going to wander too far from here. Oh, nice kill there by Joe. Takes out Emily in the wrap is there. Is Joe going to bait? And it looks like Joe's get Liam down. I thought Joe was going to really try and clear Liam here, but looks I like Keelan's kind of just escorting the last few berries in. Oh, that is Keelan. Sorry, that was Joe. Yep. Let's see what happens here. Both the queen and a speed warrior. Oh, good drone bump there by Blue Jacks. Oh, oh right. It is on Joe's loving arms. Joe's working on a Hattie here. Meanwhile, only one berry out now. Sean's going crazy. Nice kill by Keelan. Takes out another warrior. Only five berries out for BGs. If they could get a couple more in, they could add some serious pressure it's to this so game. It's so scary because they're trying to get that bottom from the floor. Oh, but Liam goes down. It. It's an open Mine hive. Is clear. Emily rotates over. Great job. Takes out Sean there. Who would have ran the last berry? It. Dangerous spot here. Oh, and Virginia tries to take out. Oh, there and Keelan picks up the last queen kill. 9-0 for him, and Death from Above wins the set. 3-1, Death from Above. Good plays, gentlemen. All right, I'm going to call up the new teams. What a set. Definitely great plays by BGs. That was very, very hard fought, especially that famine map. Oh, my goodness. So we have a tale of two titans here. We have Show Me the Honey, who just 4 0'd, and Death from Above, who just 3 1 Who do you think? Who do you think? Who do you think is favored here? Who do you think? Uh, who do you think this favors? Feeling, feeling Death from Above. I think Death Row Above has this, but it's definitely going to be a close map. A so every team has to play every team. How many rounds is there? Six. Okay. Every team gets six rounds. Okay. Is this the button to turn myself up just a little bit? That might be too loud. Nah, it would be okay. I think it's this. Yeah, that's that one. There we go. All right, that's a lot better. I can actually hear myself. Show me, show me the honey's been playing very good. They've got a couple new players, but like, I don't know. It'll, uh, it'll work out. I think they've got this. Meanwhile, you know, Tim's running the tournament here. Good job by him. Doing great. Doing great. Manny's filling in for OBJ on Quantum Bees. Seems like a better pick, honestly. More, more balanced. Meanwhile, uh, oh, sorry. Show me the honey. Meanwhile, Bee Gees. I don't think they're gonna put him a fight, so. No, you've got it. Uh, we are missing Death Row Above. They're getting drinks, I think. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Death Row Above, come on. <laughs> David, where are you going, bud? Oh, he's getting him. <laughs> yeah, y'all are on gold. No warm up. No warm. 
Y'all played crazy last map. That was insane. That was stressful. Watching it here and then watching it happen, it's so scary. Y'all are putting in work. Keep it going. All right. Welcome no back. Well, well, well. All right. Manny's filling in for the OBJ on Quantum Bees. Hey, wait, I'm, I'm talking, bruh. <laughs> I'm talking good about you. Why are you doing that to me? Death or above, talking about strategy. Here we go. Back to two, back to two. No, everyone's played, no more warm ups. I want mine on the other side. That seems like it would be good. Show me the honeys working on missing, they're missing someone right now. May drop out mid set. Gotta go play some third strike. Ooh. Got some good plays throughout the season. Like this is this is going crazy. All right, all right, all right. You are still muted. There, there we go, go. There we go. There you go. There you go. You know what I can do? I can pull up both games. Oh. <laughs> We're, still gonna, we're still going to focus on the game that y'all are watching, which is Show Me the Honey versus Death from Above. Well, we want to watch this one. This one will be fun. But we're going we're gonna to keep both up on the screen. Just for we, need to, we need to figure out how to, like, switch between them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think that involves a more intricate stream setup that we currently do not have access to. That's fair. But Show Me the Honey versus Death from Above, this should be really good. We just saw them each win a set, and now we're going to see them go against each other. I not even have access to both of them. Just like be able to pull that one up, like just the OBS thing, and switch that one over. Yeah, I don't know. Their match is beginning, and we're waiting on this one. Yep. Both from both, all signed in. Uh, mostly signed in are Show Me the Honey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time to They're see waiting on one, but it'll be okay. Yeah. No more war buffs for the rest of the game, so. Yeah, this once it starts, it's starting. Yeah, it's live. I'm watching the other game right now, and there we go. Death Ooh. from above. Sorry, I just saw a crazy <laughs> drone buff that happened over there. I think Manny's playing. Yep. Manny is playing. Meanwhile, show me the honey. Death from above. Here we go. We are live. They have a bot. No, and they don't. No, there they goes don't. Gene. <laughs> Gene, Gene got his one guess, second of fame. Guest appearance. Great, guest appearance. Great bump set mid here. Neither. Neither team's able to get one up. Oh, Does Keelan need to keep bumping mid like that. But KT goes down, and uh, two—I mean, they've got two warriors already, so might as well. Akeelon Three warriors might. now for. Oh, uh, oh wait, no, no. Show me the honey's blue. I got it mixed up. Oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, my bad. Only two warriors for Death from above, and now, oh, still two. Oh my goodness, but they get in tunnel. Sean's in tunnel. Let's see if yeah, he can make see. his way out, and he can't. Still, oh yeah, all three warriors for Keelan's last, but with speed, he's gonna he's gonna go crazy. Yeah, I believe in him. He can hold right for a little bit. There we go. Sean's Where able to get up. back up. Nice kill and by Keelan there. Pick. Go for the snail. Don't get yourself killed, Keelan. You got this. Earn your wings. Oh, there nice we go. ricochet kill. One. Oh, Ooh, he yeah. goes for the J. just missed. It's all good. It's all good. Come uh, on. Meanwhile, Keelan show me the honey is wiped, and David's doing a good job keeping these gates on lockout. 
Good job, David. You might want to tag those speed gates. They're forming so many babies. He's not going to go for that. Oh, but they're keeping them wiped. The speed doesn't matter, ultimately, if they stay wiped. That's fair. But they're able to get There's stripes one up. up. And the speed. Yeah, they're that's Chasing a... abs right now. Abs goes down. That's their only speed, forcing her low. Oh, David Jason. David wants her. I, you could hear the panic call out from Sean telling David to get out of there. Oh, oh and caught in the wrap. Good sneaky. kill by KT there. Oh. He's baiting himself, but. I can, I'm, I am impressed with what I'm seeing from Keelon today. I am very. This is. Keelon is going crazy. He had a We're rough, like, one it. or two maps to start. Oh, and David and gets David, caught David again. Goes down again. Gets picked off by Brindley that time. So There's David's one. on last. Don't chase her. Don't chase her. Oh, oh Keelon goes down. Keelan. Last up is Sean, and he's in the tunnel. He takes out a warrior, Sean, though. You get out of oh, there. he takes oh out my both warriors. Oh, but KT takes out David. Ah. And it's 1 0 in favor of Show Me the Honey. Sean was going crazy. We can move this. We can move this back a little bit if need be. Oh guys, just making sure. <laughs> Sounds good. I mean, great map there. Uh, lots, lots of death, lots of dying, lots of killing. That was a crazy map. But it ends in favor of Show Me the Honey. Uh, yeah. I mean, Death from Above, they played well for the most part. I mean, you got 83% uptime from Keelan going 3-1. and one. You got 61% uptime from Sean going 3-2. and two. Yeah, they were playing really well. Yeah, the Warriors were doing a good job staying alive. They were pushing Snail a little bit. It's just, David, again, it just goes back to don't play. Don't try to do too much. Play within your limits. Know what your limits are. That, it's just that sort of deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, got, you could see him chasing the queen, and, like, he wanted it. You could see where he wanted it and needed it, but I mean, it was he it didn't need it. That's the thing. Overextended <laughs> too much. That's the thing is he didn't need it. Well, I know he didn't need it, but he wanted it. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I just watched the insane bump. Whatever happened over there? <laughs> okay, yeah, the Quantum Bees BG's game is entertaining right now. But we got Matt Night Map. Show me the honey versus Death from above. Let's see what happens here. Forgot David opens low. Yeah, but it, it but works if his, a berry. It works if his drones get up, but no one on gold's up yet. Yeah, I was about to say. Okay, they're gonna form two out of left and right Keelan at the same time. Keelan gold gold snail up. is still moving though. He bumped that bump out of right gate forces abs to move. Yeah. He's Good establish there by Keelan. Oh, he taps too fast for there that drone go. bump to to affect him too much. Only one warrior for nice, Show Me the Honey. Solid J. Yeah, great J there by David. Their only What's gate. That's the pick. The What's left the one. Pick? That gold snail is they chugging. Want him. Going from the back. Oh, David takes that. I don't like David that low, but he gets Watch the kill. Watch your head, David. Yeah, tag, I, if I'm David right now, I'm thinking tag all these gates. That snail is moving. You he's got the objective. He's not tagging gates. He's just staying there. Oh, there he goes. He there, now he's tagging the gates. Oh, and just like that, Sean goes down. Oh, there A great we go. kill there by Keelon, though. Both teams, too. Yeah. Sean's going for that bump. He Sean, wants it. Yeah, Sean able, unable to get back up there. Now Keelon's down, so last up is Joe for death from above. That makes Keelon up there, too. Yep. Sean's looking for the three. That's three. Oh, and Joe bounces. He just Eric'd off of uh, KT. That is not uh, ideal. Nice kill there by Keelon, though, in the wrap. Oh, nice kill by Sean. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, good established what? by David. Just like but all the gates are blue, so they should be able to reform. They I get know. one up out of mid. I didn't know why. He, why didn't he fall for that? Why did he go up? So odd, he bounces off, abs bounces yep. off. Oh, great kill, kill there still. by Brenly. Takes out Sean. They're going to go for that pince? Every warrior kill you get on the other team on when their Joe, snail is moving. Joe, nice Joe kill by pick? Joe. Good punish. Both queens still have all their eggs. Queen's coming down, waterfall. It's a very scary position for Joe, even though he has speed. Yeah, Keelan's trying to watch these low gates, but as a vanilla, you don't have the speed to cover both. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice oh J goodness. there by Mary. And, there go. Joe is only and Joe is last up for death from above. Let's see if they, if he's Blue aware and they play like it. Sean's able to get up out of mid, though. That snail's still way on death from above I know. side. It is. It is. They've got a lot of time to just figure it out. Ooh, and Joe goes Jay, down. Rough, rough J. Now Sean is last up. For death from above, and all these gates are blue. They're trying to get Keelon speed back. Oh, great pinch by Show Me the Honey up at the top. Great job capping that ledge by Colin. They're gonna go for it on Sean. And they takes out Sean too. Just two beautifully executed pinces. Now death from above is wiped. They okay, have a lot of time Keelan. though. Here comes Keelon. He's ready. Oh, Mary bounces off of David somehow. Keelon is the only one up for death from above right now. Keelon, I would be going to find your queen. See what she needs to do. They're gonna try and get all someone about, up out of mid here. All about communication. Abs is able to get up. That's Joe, so Keelon and Joe. Keelon and Joe, solid team, solid team. Oh, but Colin immediately down. takes out Joe. Oh, Keelon, yeah, watch, watch your head. Watch that in the wrap. 
David goes down again. He's on last. It's starting to get less great. and less good for Death from Above. Great sweep through by Kila. It's slipping. It's slipping. Yeah, but like, I mean, these blue warriors have just been asserting their control oh, over I maps know. all day long. All night long, too, since this is night map. Oh, oh there great pick there by Keelan. Uh, oh, but he goes down. Nice kill by Mary. Mary it's okay. They get one up. They Mary get one eight up. and one this map, playing out of her mind. David get, survives. It two up. David's just holding down. He wants he wants out of there. He does get out of there, and he's holding a gate now. Sean, great job getting everyone Keelan off goes, of David's head. Go. Snail's coming back to bridge. As all three Warriors are up for death from above now. All three Warriors are They're up for both teams. Both teams but David's in a bad fence. spot right here. He's got to find a way to get higher. Oh my goodness, saved his oh, life. Oh, and he does. He takes out uh, Brenly there. So two Warriors for each of these teams. Sacrifice by Abs. Sean's looking at the back. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, David, fly like you've never flown before. Good kill there by Sean. Only, the only Warrior up right now. Oh, and just like that, show me the honey's wiped. He is sweating bullets right now. One mistake and it's over. That's the scary part Great bumps here. There. Is Blue Stars switching to berries a little bit? Oh, and able to get up out of mid is Speed Abs. That's Brenly. Brenly's terrifying. Stops the up. And that's oh, a queen nice kill. queen kill there. Who has got that? That was a Joe is, that got it. Snail is back to waterfall. Yeah. This is scary again. David's still on last. But oh all these goodness. gates are blue. David, just hold. HD? Ah. Uh, Sean is. Just looking. Yeah. Sean and Joe are playing real there defensive. Goes, good pick there by pick. Sean. They're one. This they're is their one. chance to move that snail a little more. I wouldn't be in that little tunnel, but it works. Here comes KT trying to make a last second stop. Do they have time? They do. Oh, oh the snail gets in. They missed my. the snail pop. Oh, my Oh, that's goodness. so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate for Joe Me the Hunt. Oh. But it's just one map. We are tied up at one going in to Dusk Map. Oh, my goodness. That is terrifying. Yep. Well played by everybody on this map. Yeah, for real. You got four and two from Mary with 76% uptime. You got uh, you got uh, four and three from Keelan with 73% uptime. I mean, all these warrior uptimes are really high. They're playing stable. They're playing well. Meanwhile, BGs is 3-0 against Quantum Bees. Yeah, so BGs get the first set win of the day over on the other cab. That's good for them. Quantum for Bees them. still looking for their first map win. We will commentate a Quantum Bees game right after this. That'd be good to see. Yeah. I haven't watched them play. I just watched them play uh, just a little bit, but yeah. I haven't actually gotten to see a map from theirs. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to this dust map, though, as it starts up right here. But huge dust map for both of these teams. Looks like we have David opening mid. KT coming over to mirror. Looks like we're facing a snail team and a berry team. Yep. Once again, Death we have the snail above. versus berries. This is the top berry. Yeah, only one top berry for Death from above, but that's okay because immediately down to stop the snail is Joe. Lost where he was for a second. Keylon gets that kill. Good kill, Another Keylon. top berry there. Uh, Brenly. This is giving me shades of battle. Oh, uh, great chase down by can, Mary. You can see him looking. He can see him diving, but he couldn't go down. He was just the hand-eye coordination. He was not yeah. tapping. Another another berry gets run for death from above here. All three warriors are up for Show Me the Honey now. It's only two top berries, though, which is very concerning. They're splitting. Yeah, no, they're they're moving that. There's no objective right now. Oh, and KT goes down. Great kill by David. KT just wasn't quite established in time. Interesting. Uh, blue is two right now, and they've got three tops in. A great pick by Keelan up at the hive. Oh, go, another four out, great cool job running. Last. Great job running that berry by Jason. Is Ke uh, oh, and, uh, and kicking berry by KT. And Snail is still on the side of death from above. Meanwhile, All the objective pressure Mary is in favor is, of gold right now. Mary is just hovering over David's head. Great job terrifying. running that Mary by Sean. Are you kidding? David is not allowed on the ceiling, but he finally gets up there. All these blue warriors. Okay, blue's moving the snail now. They have an objective now. It's snail. Great Joe's pick by David there. Barry. Oh, great last second save there by KT. Joe misses the berry. David is in a dangerous spot right here. They're Jets not letting out. him get up. They're just, they're, just, they're just running the berries now. Yeah, only one berry out. I mean, you're only one berry out, and snail's in the middle of the map. You might as well. I would love is, to see some warriors from Death from Above because they're wiped. Love to see it because right now they're just focusing on getting that last berry and they're not playing this as slow as they should be. But the back yeah, door by it. Sean. Just misses it. They should be able to. Oh, no, that's Jason. That is not looking to get up. Great drone bumps here by Jackson. Go, David takes out KT. KT. Caught her low. It's a very gotta get another a pivotal dusk map. Gold needs to oh get a warrior goodness. up here, though. Sean wants it. Okay, they get one up. 
They get Joe up out of right gate, and he's coming over to help escort. He's coming in the back door. They missed the jump. That could have been it. Yeah. It's all good. That snail is still moving. They're not paying yeah, that, any attention to that it. That blue snail is chug in. They're not paying any attention Keelan's to it. Keelan's getting up now, so two warriors for gold. All right. Great feed here Stripes by Jason. They seem to be pivoting. Feed, they seem to be pivoting a little Keelan's bit. Keelan's going down to snail. I like Keelan's this. gonna be holding snail now. Oh, Sean got past. There and Sean goes. rose the last Sean fairy. Very, very close map. That snail was getting close. That's two in a row. He did that last map, did he not? Yeah. All right, so two, one in favor of death from above, but that's not over. This twilight is going to be important. And actually, if you don't mind me, go ahead. I am going to go ahead and queue up the next match. And then I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Show Me the Honey and BGs a break because they've been playing and playing and playing. Yeah. And then we'll come back with sets on both of these caps. So we'll I mean, what is? That's a really competitive dusk map right there. David playing great. Um, Keylon, while he was up doing good, I would still really love to see them put a, a little bit more haste into getting their warriors back up, even when they're one, two berries out. I see, I see. Yeah. Because it's like. I don't know, there's so many, there's like three or four warriors, or there's three warriors and a queen at Hive, and then that snail is chugging, and then they can't stop yeah. the snail until somebody Let's gets what up. Happens. Okay, oh, with the great open, kill by David. David goes in. Right off the bat, but three, four berries in for Show Me the Honey oh right off goodness. the bat. They just wanted to start berries. That's, hey, if it works, it works. I don't know. We'll see if it works. KT can. Okay. KT well, seems like they can ledge pretty good. Well, uh, there's a warrior up there for. Uh, that warrior goes down. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. The berries, KT's only two keep. berries in for death from above this whole time, though. So. David needs to tag those gates because right now KT can just live there. Okay, good backdoor berry there by Sean. Okay, now uh, Skulls is up. That's Mary looking to ledge. And kills David. That's one way to ledge. Both queens have an egg now. Berries still favor uh, Show Me the Honey, but it's gotten a lot closer now. Okay, we got uh, Jackson getting speed. Oh, nice jump there by Sean. Sean's running back. Sean's running front and back door speed berries. Yeah, I love to see this. Just to learn how to short hop. Yeah. But meanwhile, these blueberries are pouring in as there's no ledge for gold. Only four berries out now is Show Me the Honey. Mm, blueberries. Oh, and Keelan goes down. That would have been the ledge. Now gold is wiped. No ledge. Three berries out. It's very scary. David's just running the cycle, running the spin cycle right now. He's just going to every gate. Touching it. The KT's the right there, down. yep. KT's Gotta right get a warrior him. somewhere. Okay, now he posts up against KT here. Trying to get someone up out of mid. And nobody's there for mid at them. There he goes. They're, they're at last. Another berry gets in. Two berries out. Meanwhile, four berries out for death from above. Great job Sean there by David. right over. Another great ledge there by David. Okay, now Joe is up. He's got a ledge. Goes he down. Keelan's goes down. up, though. Can Keelan ledge here? It can't just be David full time. Great walk under. Only one berry out now for death from above while well, all this has been happening. It's terrifying. Here we go. Oh, David KT doing a little bit of a dance here. Oh, great oh, bump by goodness. Stripes. Colin bumps. Uh, They're all fighting for it. They're asking David to hold down ledge by himself. Oh, my goodness. And he takes out KT. Both queens on last now as both teams are only one or two berries out. Great. So scary. I think Gold needs an escort here. They got those two warriors down there. Keelan goes down. Escort. Gold just needs a hive clear. Oh, oh and David, goes, David down. goes down. Brentley takes him out. And we are going to our first game five hype of oh the preseason. Oh, my goodness gracious. Good job, Gold team. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Manny. <laughs> Manny's talking smack from behind the counter. Yeah, when his team just lost 4-0. Manny, come put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> you guys lost. No, they lost Twilight. They picked them out. Same as Lee. Death from above's pick. All right, so game five is going to be interesting here. I think when you said that pick, uh, Sean, shouted, Sean shouted dusk. We'll so see, I wonder we'll where see. they're going. Well, that's what Sean said, but Sean might not be in charge. Oh, well, they're I mean, ready up on Dusk. There, there he goes. He shouted Dusk. They're going Dusk. Death from above. Look at Dusk here for game five. Let's see if Show Me the Honey can make the adjustments needed to lock him down, though. Ooh. 
and see what happens here. This is game five, Manny. Game, game five hype. Game five hype. Game five hype. Game five hype. No. Coach him after the map. Coach him after the map. Yeah. Why not? Uh, no, after the sets, you can't. Not while they're playing. Not while they're playing. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Here we go. Game five hype. Show me the honey death from above here on dust. Mirror open here. Just kidding. He's going to center. Just kidding. Both queens going to center. Let's see what happens Just here. Just kidding. Mirror open. We have the async open. Safe oh, and they're able safe. to prevent Joe from getting up. A top berry for gold, though. And Snail is moving. Great pick by David. Takes out Colin from the top rope. We need to work on those top, uh, on those top berries. Oh, they great punish there by David. KT. Takes out KT. Skulls okay, Joe's looking. able to get up. They're just hovering over David's head. It is terrifying. I don't know what Keelan, Keelan was doing by the snail, gets up. but he gets I, up. I do not know. He's right. Two warriors now for death from above. That snail is moving though, so it's already at They're the flower. All bottoms. Yeah, only one top berry for death from above. That's huge. Uh, Show me the honey immediately went and ledged a lot sooner this map. That's a little scary for death from above, especially if snail starts keep moving. Okay, second top Sean berry gets there. Another top. Go Sean. Jason get gets a top one. berry. Three top berries in for death from above. That snail is still moving. Great pick by Keelan down cool at the bottom berry. of the map. Uh, he still gets top the top there. Okay, bring, Death from above's bringing Snail back. Cool oh, out. Joe goes down though. Oh. Keelan's the only warrior up on the whole map right now. Show me the honey's wiped. So KT kind of having to ledge by herself and hope that one of her warriors can get up. It's gonna have kick to be in, right gate. Kick in. Uh, no kick in, but that barrier is going oh, everywhere. Sh Sean jump. Sean jumps over it. And misses okay, the they're top, gonna be able to get okay. someone up out of right gate. Only two berries out though. Death from above. And, center. That's, and that snails in the middle of the map. Great prevention there by David. If I were Sean, I One speed. berry out. Sean's a great warrior, and he has speed. I would get up and escort this last berry and just have James run the last one. Trying to. Oh, Sean able to slip it there. He does. <laughs> Sean goes and in. And then from above wins the set. What a job well by them. Well played. Well played. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back. My back is hurting as well. I'm, I'm taking a break. Wait, I didn't even mute myself. What the hell? Oh my goodness, we got Death Row above coming back up. Might take a break. My back is starting to hurt. Actually, just kidding. Who <laughs> wants a hot dog? Uh, man, he's behind the counter. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if I'm on the ground and you die, that's your fault, not mine. Okay, fair. Because all you have to do is press the button and I die. All right, so we have Death From Above and Quantum Bees. <laughs> yeah, no warm up. Both teams have played. No warm up. One second, one second, one second. Yes. I was just keeping him there. When I was playing on the cow, I was keeping him there. Oh, uh, okay. Just 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, so here we go, Defron Bub versus Quantum Bees. Man, he's coming over to replace. Oh, great, great John. prevention there at mid game by Craig, who's queening this season, it looks like. Or at least for this map. Ooh, almost spin moves David there. Who was queening last? Uh, Quantum, this is their first season. This is the first we've ever seen Quantum well, Bees no, here. Like, who was, was somebody queening last map? No, it was it was Craig last set. Oh, okay. Uh, take John's play after this map. Take so his place once he snail dies. is in favor of gold, though, so Quantum Bees are moving the Snail. Oh, the J. I like the comms from this team. Craig doing some good call outs here. Oh, great sweep through there. Oh, Joe takes out some Warriors there, and Craig goes down. Nice kill, David, there. Joe's 4 know this map. Snail is still moving for gold, though. It's out of tunnel, although it looks like it might go back under here in a minute. No, great kill there by Dean. Oh, and Dean almost able to punish Sean there. Oh, but does punish uh, Joe. And just like that, gold is wiped. They need some gates. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how if Craig is able to get his team up out of a wipe. Interesting flying techniques, but uh, mm -hmm. you know it works. It works. Yeah. I mean, Craig is the newest queen in the league this season. Oh, great pick there by Joe he, right out of high frames. In previous seasons, I remember his face. Yeah, he's played a good number of seasons before. He was on. Uh, he didn't play last season. Oh, and he gets caught at the bottom of the map. Great map there by Death from Above. Hey, Manny's here. Yeah, bump people? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was funny. Yeah, you just can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I fell in. All right, so we have Manny's taking his proper spot on the Quantum Bees for Let's the day. Go, He's Manny. back from the bar. So, uh, but a solid map there from Death from Above. I mean, Keylon, once he got up, never went down. Uh, uh, Joe, 3 and 1, 53% uptime with the Queen kill in there. Sean played well, 57% uptime. And the thing is, like, Quantum Bees were able to move the snail. It's like that map was nowhere near hopeless. They got their warriors up and they were moving that snail. So let's yeah, see what happens here on night map. To stay a little safer. Speed open? Question mark. Let's see what yes. Craig looks to do oh. here. Oh, a little Whoa. bit of a interesting open here. Doesn't quite secure gate, but his warrior's still able to get up out of left and right gate. Meanwhile, a berry gets ran. So this, but that snail is moving for blue. I'm not. Oh, nice, nice job flying through the middle there. Everyone without dying. Looked like an organized dance. Nice pick there by Keelon, though. Ooh, and Another Dean pick. takes someone out. There oh, and go. so does Craig. Only one warrior up for death from above, and that's Joe. Oh, we have Manny bringing the snail back with speed. His speciality. All right, it looks like we have David Sean hits getting the up J speed. Here. David hits the J here. We'll see. He does Sean's not. getting back up with speed. So, oh, nice Mantis David there. The Jonathan goes safe. down. Uh, three berries in. So all the objective good pressure comms. is a favor. Ooh. Good comms by Death from Above. Yeah, I've seen both of these teams have great comms so far today. That's something a lot of teams are missing is just a solid, solid comms. They're Meanwhile, five berries in Sean for is running. Bees. Sean is running secret. Or no, that's that's uh, Guillermo. Yeah, Guillermo's Gu running. Oh, great pick by Sean. Speaking of Sean, there he Guillermo's is. Guillermo's running berries. Yeah, these berries are starting They're to pour in, in for Quantum Bees here. But they really need a warrior to help contest this snail. Craig can't do it all by himself. Craig is currently... They've got really good comms. Looking mid gate. gates. Oh, Jonathan just falls, unable to get up out of mid. But Manny does. But that snail is bad. They got to get over there now. Is Manny uh, able to stop it? Good feed. Craig stops it, and Manny alive? takes someone out. Manny takes out everybody. The Quantum Bees are chilling. Oh, and oh Manny takes out David. Manny. Only one up for death from above is the ledge. That's that's Key Ledge. Oh, and he takes out Craig. Nice ricochet there by Keylon. That snail is coming back though, so these berries are kind of significant right now. Oh, Aww. it just misses the Craig, just misses the J, and David's able to make him pay for it. Good that was a really solid, really solid competitive map. Yeah, this team getting Manny back, and they felt it immediately. <laughs> very, Let's very. Let's go, gold team. Let's go, gold team. Let's get it. All right, all right. So we're going to dust map now. We've seen a lot of good things here from the Quantum V so far today. Uh, brand Again, brand new team, first what? games they've ever played. So they're still figuring stuff out. But it looking promising here. Because they're like Death From Above is going to be one of the favorites this season. So it's all good. It's all good. So we got two more maps here for this set. And then we'll have a bit of a break before we go into the second half of this round robin. Not too long of a break, but a little one.
Here we go. Here we go, dust map. Death from above and quantum bees. Let's see what happens here. We got death from above opening mid and quantum bees decide to open in the wrap. Interesting open here from David. Uh, the, an invade seems to work though. Okay, so one warrior is able to get up. Manny gets up out of mid for quantum. That snail was moving a little bit, still moving. Oh, and the uh, Guillermo goes down. Nice pick there by David. Takes out Craig and the dive. Uh, Manny up here on the ledge. Barry gets kicked in, but he's doing a good job holding it down. Ooh, Craig nearly avoids another dive from David. That snail is rolling for gold. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so another warrior's up. That's Dean up above the snail there. Dean and Manny. Manny goes down there. Great pick by Keelon. And Keelon takes out Dean. Keelon just takes out everyone by the snail. And meanwhile, four top berries in for Death From Above. And here comes five, number five right here. Yep. Five tops in for Death From Above. Gold is not wiped. They have Guillermo up. It looks like he's trying to rotate over to the ledge. Craig goes down again, gets taken out by David. They're... I mean, Joe is just doing an amazing job just not letting any gold warriors up above Blue Hive. This is what you like to see. Okay, Snail's starting to move again, but only two berries out is Death from Above, and it's about to be one after this. Guillermo is there, but he's really high. Got to try and stop this last berry, and it gets in there. Death from Above goes up 3-0, but we will still play Twilight as always. I do love to see the smiles and laughs on the sides. <laughs> oh, man, what a set. We still got Twilight, though. We still got Twilight. One more, and then we'll get everyone will get a break after that map, I swear. I promise. Death from above, quantum bees here. All right, here we go. No, oh, I'm good. Twilight here, dead from above, quantum bees. Oh, and David immediately falls through the wraps and takes out Craig. But again, Manny was able to get up right off the bat, so it'll be interesting to see. He probably has to rotate over the ledge because these berries are starting to get poured in. Oh, and Craig goes down again, this time uh, at the hands, hands of Joe. So Craig is on last early. Very few places to hide as the queen. Lots of open wraps. And just like that, Keelon takes him out. Very quick map there. Shades of last season, 23 seconds on Twilight. We've seen faster. But uh, what a competitive map. Great job by every team. We will be back with the second half of this double round robin before too long. But I'm going to give out all these guys a break because they've been playing like crazy.
All right, we are about to start the second half of this round robin, uh, double round robin. So we're doing a whole nother round robin. Uh, we got Show Me the Honey and Quantum Bees are going to be up first on Arlington. I asked every team, and everyone told me no warm up going back from quote unquote halftime. So no warm, war no warm ups. We're going in live. It's going to be great. Uh, meanwhile, we have Death from Above and BGs going in on the other side. Hello, Manny. 
<laughs> so we're getting, games are going right back. To recap the standings as far as these go, um, Show Me the Honey is 2-1, and one, Quantum B's 0-3, oh Death From Above's 3-0, and, oh, and Bee Gees are 1-2. and two. So we're going to see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and queue up the other matches since I got all these ones squared to go. Oh, I messed this up. I'll deal with it later. Oh, shoot, I fucked up. Oh, no, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, we are ready to go here. Show me the honey versus the quantum bees. Yeah, no, no, yeah, just, just don't start it. Let, yeah, let me click it. Yeah, warm ups, warm ups in. Go for it. Warm up on the back half. Warm up. At the request of the Bee Gees. You're, you're good. You're good. Keep on. Keep on. Sorry. Getting stuff situated. It's hard to do two cabs. But here we go. Meanwhile, this game down here, uh, show me the honey's fully formed. They're moving snail a little bit. Uh, two warriors up for two warriors up for the quantum bees. Great job by Guillermo staying alive here. Guillermo and Dean. But putting in some work, Craig in a sticky spot, but he gets out of it. Oh, and gets got by KT there. Craig finds himself on last. Guillermo, last warrior up for the Quantum Bees. They're going to try and reform here. And get some, oh, and Guillermo goes down. Got a little too aggro there around the queen, and they are wiped. Okay, but Manny's going to get up out of mid. Craig stays alive, but that snail pressure is real. Greg going under the queen now. Snail is, okay. Manny goes down, so now uh, Guillermo's the only one up, and that snail's still moving. Oh, miss, Craig misses the J, but stays alive. Great job by Manny. Oh, a near spin move by Craig there. Oh, and takes out a call on the dive. Show me the honey's wiped, but they have all the gates. So they will be able to reform, but Quantum Bees can bring the snail back. Great pop there into Guillermo, who takes out KT. So here we go. Oh, nice kill there by Brenly, taking out uh, Dean, I think. And that snail is still in the danger zone. Oh, Guillermo goes down in the snail tunnel. One last second feed. They're going to be able to get up Dean out of left, but Craig's got to get over there to stop the snail. Can he find a way? Oh, no, and he backs up into Mary for the queen kill. So it is one nothing in favor of show me the honey here. As meanwhile, we have death from... All right, we're going to take a bit of a break. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Sean, did y'all did y'all already do the warm up? Okay, okay, just make sure. All right, so a couple of the food buzzers for Show Me the Honey just went off, so Brief, brief break, but we'll be right back with Night Map here as the Quantum Bees look to, still looking for their first map win of the day. And it might come here. We'll see how this goes. All right, here we go. Show me the honey Quantum Bees. 
So Craig's going to open through the wrap here. As Show Me the Honey takes the high open. But they don't form anyone out of mid. Interesting strat here. Craig barely stays alive there. One warrior gets up. That's Guillermo. And they're going to form Speed Manny out of left. Snail is in favor of Show Me the Honey, but there's a berry in for Quantum. So it's interesting to see which strat these teams are going to take. Great job by Craig staying alive, avoiding Mary there. Oh, great queen kill there by Manny. Takes out KT. So that's the first queen death of the map. Great job by Craig here staying alive. A couple berries in for Quantum. Objective seems pretty even. Manny goes down, though. Craig stays alive. Oh, Craig in a tough spot, but he stays alive there. He's just holding that spot right below mid-gate. So is Manny. They're clumping a little bit. Craig manages to dive out of it. Oh, and Craig goes down at the same time Manny does. Last up for Quantum Bees is Dean. And nice J by Mary to clear him. And just like that, Quantum Bees are wiped once again. They got to find a way to get out of this lockout. That's how they're going to be able to stay competitive here. Four berries in, but that's not really much of a threat when Snail's this far. Oh, great job by Craig. Manages to pop and get out of there alive. Still looking for a gate somewhere. Oh, a nice drum bump by uh, Skulls, by Guillermo, but unable to capitalize or do anything with it. Oh, and Craig takes out KT. So now on last is KT, but that snail is in the basket. 2 nothing. show me the honey. And we got another food buzzer. So we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, in the other game. The other game we got going right now, it's first map, still day map, two minutes in. Uh, Bee Gees look to be in a good spot as Death From Above is wiped. <laughs> Snail is on, oh, and David's a Dunnel. He gets out. Very interesting map over here. It's already been two minutes over there. Solid, solid map. Oh, nice punish by David. All right, so 2 nothing in favor of Show Me the Honey here. They try to stay ahead of BGs in order to advance to Honey Sleuth instead of Bumble, but we'll see how this goes. Quantum Bees trying to put up a fight, trying to stay competitive. And, I mean, that was a solid map from some of their players. Craig only died once that map. Uh, Manny, two, uh, two for three with the queen kill. All right, let's see this Dusk map. Let's see what happens. Show me the honey versus Quantum Bees. Two nothing in favor of Show Me the Honey. So we'll see. Oh, and Craig just goes down. Nice stick there by KT. Snail is starting to move for gold here. Oh, a nice pick there by Dean. Takes out KT. Both queens are down, uh, down an egg. Another nice pick by Dean above the snail there. Well, Dean is last up, though, for Quantum, and he's just kind of down there. Another nice pick. Takes out Brenly there. Oh, and Mary takes out Craig. Craig wants to get on last. Taps are just not quite there. Oh, nice dive there by Craig, though. Takes out uh, takes out Brenly, but he's in a low spot. This isn't great. Oh, and KT goes down. Both queens on last. And with Snail still moving in favor of Quantum Beast. Oh, no, Mary takes him out. Ooh, that one got dicey. That one got dicey, but good map win for Show Me the Honey. They win the set. But we still play Twilight, as always. These maps are getting close. <laughs> That's, I think that's the second map in a row. They've gotten KT down to last, and Snail was on their side. Solid pressure all the way around. Meanwhile, on the other side, uh, BGs just took the first map from uh, Death From Above. So, upset warning. Oh, my gosh. Great play there by Liam. <laughs> all right, here we go. So, Twilight... Again, it's more of a formality than a map that matters, as Show Me the Honey's already won the set.
Here we go. Um, some stats from the other game. Seven and two for Emily. Uh, David went six and three. They each had two queen kills on each other, but Liam got the last queen kill. Meanwhile. <laughs> Here we go, show me the honey quantum bees. During the map. So Barry favor, sorry, Barry pressure favors show me the honey early. I tripped up on every single word of that sentence. Uh, neither queen has gone down yet, although they're up at the top here. This could get dicey. Okay, Craig, Craig leaves wisely. Uh, there's, okay, so there's significant warrior pressure here for both of these teams. Five berries out though for, oh, great J by KT and just like that. Quantum Bees have no warrior pressure. So Craig is kind of staying over here on ledge a little bit until one of his warriors manages to get back up. And they do, but only three berries out. Nice kill by Craig. Takes out KT there. However, they're only two berries out, and only five berries in is Quantum. So Quantum's starting to move the snail a little bit. I don't hate it. Man, he kind of legend these, but he's legging real deep. Oh, he stays alive, though. Not for long. And a backdoor bear. Ooh, just missed the jump. Did Brenly. He hasn't gone down this map, though. That's crazy. Oh, nice kill there by uh, Mary, and that might clear the hive. One last berry to run for Show Me the Honey. Oh, but they missed the jump. Nice kill by Craig. Can they stop this last one? Good bumps. Oh, and it goes in. The kill on KT, but the last berry goes in. Show Me the Honey takes it 4-0. Good math win, good math win. All right, so next up on this cap, I got to figure out who that's going to be. We still have um, we still have the death from above set and uh, death from above BG set, and they're still on night map. So it's gonna be a second before we get another game up on this cab, but that's okay. What a game that's becoming! What a brawl that that one is becoming. Um. Okay, I got the rest of the matches queued up. But meanwhile, Bee Gees are up 2-0 on death from above here. I need to let me read out some stats from that map. Because it looks like we had a, is that a gold snail win or is it a gold military? It was a gold military victory. Um, wow, really crazy stats here. Or sometimes, let me, see, let me see them roll over. Let me see what this looks like. Uh, we have 1-2 from Joe, 1-3 from Sean, 3-1 from Keelon, who continues to play Great Warrior. Oh my god, did I just mess it up?
You know, even if you guys can't see it, I might as well try and commentate the game that's happening over on the other cab. We got Death From Above. BG's happening right now. Uh, meanwhile, Berries are favoring Death From Above by one right now, but it's really tight. Each team got like a double ledge going, which is interesting. Backdoor Berries being run by the BGs, and great job escorting that backdoor berry by Virginia. But Virginia goes down. So, still a one berry lead for these death from above berries are legit, though. Only five out. Oh, but both teams are only five out. And now there's no ledge in the front door of the BGs. Some of these berries are going to be free. Oh, and David goes down. Both queens have an egg now. Yeah, these, these BG speed warriors are just kind of controlling a lot of space right now. Great job by Liam there. One berry out now, the Bee Gees. And that is it, actually. That's going to be a set win for the Bee Gees over Death From Above. Interesting. Good set all the way around. All right, so I'm going to call up the next matches now. All right, we got Death from above. Show me the honey. This was an intense set last time. And both of these teams are coming into the set with a record of 3-1 and one for today. 
It's looking like these might be the two teams that advance to Honey Sleuth, but nothing's given. And with the loser of this set going to three and two, they got to perform in their last one. So let's see how this goes. We got Show Me the Honey on gold, Death From Above on blue. Neither team is able to form out of mid right away. Good drone bump by Chex, though. Nice job, Colin. Okay, so uh, Death From Above is three. Nice pick up at the top, taking out uh, Brenly. I think that was Keelan, yep. Sean takes out uh, Colin, too, so. Show me the honey's wiped here early. Oh, and David goes down, trying a bit too hard to protect left gate, and just like that, show me the honey's gonna get two more right back up. Let's see what happens here. David's up at the top between a lot of military units, but he gets out of it and takes out the speed drone, pre uh, preventing Show Me the Honey from getting Exodia here. Snail is way out of top. Oh, what a sweep through by Sean. Takes out Brenly and KT. He's playing like crazy this map. David getting chased by some of these speed warriors. Keylong gets up, but right back down. Unfortunate there. Nice pick there by Sean again. Oh, but he goes down. Gets taken out there by Colin. So Show Me the Honey might be able to pull some of the snail back. Joe is the only one up for DFA. They got Keylon's speed. He's looking for, looking for left gate. And he's going to get it. So now both teams are two, each with a speed warrior. David's in a tough spot. Oh, bumps off of Mary. And Mary goes down. Very unfortunate there. Oh, nice, uh, nice heft. Uh, good bump by Jackson there. He takes out, I think that was Sean that went down. Either Sean or Joe. Keelan's last up. Have to play a little bit safe. Sean gets back up. They're going to see if they can get Joe back up at the same gate. And it looks like they'll be able to. Sean goes down, though, so they're still not three. Keelan doing a good job staying alive here last, uh, as one of the remaining Warriors up for death from above. Snail's back under tunnel. So it's basically a game reset here. Nice sweep through by Joe. Takes out uh, Brenly and the Snail Rider. David is not in the best spot right here, but he's trying to keep these gates tagged. Uh, KT doing a great job with his gate control here. David in a tough spot. They're going to try and get him out of there, and they're able to. There's still Speed Warriors above his head, though. Great job just controlling the map by these gold Speed Warriors. Keelan goes down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, David's in a good spot. Takes out Speed Abs. Only one warrior left for uh, Show Me the Honey, and that is, that's Colin. Doing a good job staying alive here. He's prioritizing his life over the snail right now, which right now is good. KT goes down. Nice kill by Joe. All three warriors are up now for Death From Above. I believe they're all vanilla, though, but they're all up. They're all in a good spot. Sean goes down. If I'm blue, I'm really trying to invest in speed for Sean here because your other two are up. Nice pick there by Keelan. Sean gets up. Oh, great pinch there by Joe and Keelan. Take out Mary. And now Collins last up. KT takes him out, though. Oh, and David misses the J. Both queens are on last. Snail way in favor of blue and soar the gates. Nice job. They're just killing all the drones. That was Jerry's for a moment, but they that's just a nice job killing all the drones by these blue warriors, preventing them from getting to that left gate. Snail's going to keep moving for free as long as they keep doing this. David's got to not get too aggressive now. He's low. Oh, and uh, Keelan goes down. That snail's real close. Oh, Sean has speed. I didn't know that. I, I know that now. Okay, warriors are coming back up for both sides. Good prevention over there at Midgate by David. That snail is very close. It's just a bit beyond mini ledge. Nice fake J there by KT, and death from above is wiped all of a sudden. They really got to try and get someone back up, but now KT and uh, Show Me the Honey are doing a good job with walkout. It's almost Jerry's for uh, blue. See what happens here. Oh, the reverse pinch. Show Me the Honey wins day map. Death from above falls. Oh shit. One second, I'll be right back. Sorry, dude. No, you're good.
All right. So, so yeah, Show Me the Honey wins a close day map there, a competitive one. Uh, we're going to night map now. All right, here we go, night map. Death from above. Show me the honey. Let's see how this goes. Death from above, able to get out of a low gate. Uh, they're able to form two out of a low gate. Show me the honey is two right now. Great job by Joe staying alive there. Same with David. So all three gold warriors are up. Um, they're still looking to get Sean up. Good kill there by uh, Joe. I believe that was Joe that took out Colin. He's popping the snail too. Keelan getting some speed, and I like that pick. Oh, and Sean just bites a little bit on a fake J. So last up is Joe now. Keelan has speed looking to get up somewhere, but he's in a tough spot as he's in the middle right now. Nice drum bump there. And Ke Keelan's able to get to mid, but they no longer have the gate, and Joe goes down. Blue is wiped. Here we go. Keelan's able to get back up. Snail's still in the middle of the map. Uh, and Keelan immediately comes up and kills a warrior, but goes down himself. Oh, good drone bump there by Mary. Bumps David right into KT. So here we go. Let's see what happens here. Oh, a nice kill by Mary. David goes down again. Last life for David here on this night map. Snail is well off rope in favor of Show Me the Honey. David goes to pop, but he needs to get some warriors up. Joe is up. Joe needs to report to Snail. Let's see what happens here. Oh, and David goes down, unable to stick to the ceiling, and KT punishes him for it. It's 2 nothing in favor of Show Me the Honey. Yeah. One second, I'll be right back. All right, dust map here. Death, uh, death from above playing for their life, but I, if, if I remember correctly, I don't believe they've lost a dust map yet. So we'll see how this goes. The safe gets invaded again by showing the honey. One top berry in for death from above. Snail is moving already. Although death from above is able to sp form speed out of mid, even though they didn't get a safe up. Oh, but Keelan immediately goes down. Oh, and David gets taken out by Colin. Here we go. Oh, but David turns it around, takes out KT. Okay, so both both queens have an egg. That gold snail is trucking right now. They do need to bring that back. And David also needs to get a warrior up, and he gets spun around above the gold side speed gate. So last life here for David. Gold, gold snail still moving. David desperately trying to get someone up, trying to get a gate, but that snail. David's got to find a way in there, but they're boxing him out of it beautifully. They get a warrior up, but David has to go now. I don't believe there's time, and KT takes him out. Three nothing in favor of Show Me the Honey. They will win this set. However, we still play Twilight, as always.
Show Me the Honey has really turned it out. Like, after that halftime, I think they just collected themselves. They're really playing a heck of a game here. I mean, only two military deaths all map on that dusk. Playing well. I need to double check and see that I have the uh, the next match is good. Yeah, I do have the next match is good. All right. Let's uh, let's see what we got going here on Twilight. Death from above. Show me the honey. Here we go. We got some berries immediately for each side. One for Death from above. Three for Show Me the Honey. Keelon's up speed at her right. Another berry gets ran for. Okay, berries are really tight right now. Berries are close. A couple drone bumps up there by mid, and the ledge gets taken out by David. So some berries get run here. Death from above actually ahead on berries here by one. Meanwhile, there's no ledge up for Show Me the Honey, so these blue berries are just getting poured in. Okay, so Mary rotates over is the ledging now. But, I mean, this is a three-berry deficit that Show Me the Honey's trying to make up. They get one in. Oh, nice clear by David. Mary goes down. Five berries out versus three berries out. Let's see what happens here. Colin's up trying to ledge. Another warrior gets up trying to ledge. Great job by Joe just holding down Gold Hive. Two berries out now is death from above. It's going to be really interesting to see how this goes. Four berries out is death from above. Or, or four berries out, show me the honey. My bad. Still no queens have died, which is pretty interesting for these, for these tight berry maps. Usually queens get desperate and start throwing themselves at the problem. Oh, nice queen kill there by Joe. Here comes Sean with the last berry. Oh, he just missed it. Oh, and Keelon takes out KT one more time. Only one berry out still is dead from above. Only two berries out now. This is getting really, cl really close. And Sean gets it. So death from above salvages the map. Death from above salvages the map, but Show Me the Honey wins the set 3-1. So we are going into our last sets of the night. And I'll call the teams to the Cavs.
All right, last set of the day for this cat. We got Show Me the Honey Bee Gees. This was on, oddly enough the set that we started the day with. But uh, we're ending it. We're ending with it here. Um, Show Me the Honey has been playing great. Uh, they've dropped only one map since halftime. But Bee Gees have also been playing great. They haven't lost. Like both of these teams won both of their sets post halftime. So it's going to be interesting to see which one of these teams comes out on top in the second of the double round robins. Um, right now, I believe Quantum Bees at 0-5 are going to the Bumble Sleuth. That is confirmed. Um, as far as the other teams, Show Me the Honey, they're currently at 4-1. and one. I believe they are going to Honey Sleuth, even if they lose this. I'd have to double check that, though. If Bee Gees win this, then they improve to 4-2. and two. A Death from Above, we are awaiting their result on the other cap as they play the Quantum Bees. So lots of interesting scenarios could happen here. I'm going to have to look at the standings in particular to like, get, the, to get the stuff that's going on. All right, but here we go. Show me the honey Bee Gees. Going to be interesting to see what happens here. Here we go. All right, good form prevention at middle. No one's able to get up out of mid. Bee Gees have a little bit of early snail movement, but Show Me the Honey's coming right back with it. Two Warriors for each team so far. Make it three for the Bee Gees. Are they going to be able to stop this second speed format of left? No, Show Me the Honey gets all three of theirs up. Oh, but trapped in tunnel is um, is Brenly. He's unable to get out. Great pinches there by the Bee Gees. Only one Warrior left for Show Me the Honey, and that is uh, Mary. All right, let's see what happens here. Snail is moving for the Bee Gees as they're asserting, uh, doing a good job asserting more map control. Mary trying to support KT when possible. Jerry goes down, though. Uh, gets taken out, I believe, by Colin there. Now uh, Show Me the Honey's back fully formed. Oh, and Emily goes down just a little bit, unable to establish there up at the top. Let's see what happens here. Oh, great pick there by Colin. Taking out Jerry there. Still two Speed Warriors up for uh, BG, so they're in a good spot. Oh, nice pick there by uh, Mary. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by the 8 billion different things that are happening right now in this arcade. <laughs> uh, Snail's out of tunnel in favor of the Bee Gees, but uh, Warrior Pressure is about tied. Only Queen Egg that's been lost is uh, Emily died once. So Show Me the Honey holds the egg advantage. Snail advantage is still in favor of the Bee Gees, though. Although, with that Warrior death, they might be able to start bringing it back. Last one up is Liam. Goes dangerously low, but gets out of it. And now Speed, Mary, or Speed Brenly is up. So we got Exodia here for Show Me the Honey. Three Speed Warriors. Oh, but one just goes down. Oh, a little bit of dancing happening between these two queens here. Oh, nice kill there by Liam. Takes out KT. Both queens down to Nega. Just like that, two Bee Gees Warriors get taken out there by Brenly and Colin. Last up is Virginia. Snail's going to start moving back under tunnel. All right, they're investing in speed for Liam. I like this move. Let's see if Liam can get to a gate safely. Oh, Colin. No, Liam's unable to form out of that gate. So now Bee Gees are wiped. Tough situation here for Emily, but let's see what happens. Snail is moving for Show Me the Honey, but it's still in tunnel. Oh, great job by Emily staying alive and manages to take out Mary. Only one, uh, two warriors now. One warrior now for Show Me the Honey. It's just speed Colin. Emily really trying to get a gate here. They might form up Virginia here, and they will. So uh, uh, BG is no longer wiped. Show me the honey is three. I like this move from KT, but your back is exposed here. Virginia may be setting up the pinch. Nice placement, but KT is able to get out. They're still trying to form Jerry here. Nice stick there by KT. Oh, a nice pick there by uh, Mary as well. So once again, BGs are wiped. They're going to be able to form up out of right gate here. Yes, they do. They get one up. That is Liam that gets up. Oh, and Emily goes down. KT takes her out. She was unable to establish quickly. Two Warriors are able to form out of it, though, but that Snail is way on blue side. They got to rotate over. Great job by Colin. Just boxing them out. Oh, KT, that dive could have been catastrophic. 
Lots of military units here in the wrap. Don't get lost in the shuffle. Only one warrior left for Bee Gees, and they're in the snail tunnel. I almost called it by the other name that I use sometimes, which is not okay. Oh, great pinch there by Show Me the Honey. Uh, Mary and uh, Colin managed to take out Jerry there. Another warrior gets up there, but Brenly takes out Emily, and Show Me the Honey wins map one. Man, they're looking good since that halftime. I mean, they're playing the long game. They're, they're get, they're, they keep getting Warriors back up. They're cycling up speeds. They're moving the snail. It's like they're playing fundamentally sound killer queen. I love to see it. Uh, the lone Richardson representative uh, in today's contest and in the uh, Bumble Honey conglomerate as well. I mean, the BTs were kind of in control for the entire first half of that day map. They had their Warriors up. Snail was out of tunnel on their side. It's just, it seems that when Show Me the Honey gets a wipe and a lockout, they don't lose it very easily. So you just got to avoid getting to that state against them. Kind and Dustmap is looking like we're gonna get uh, Honey Sleuth honors. Okay, Be Kind is the new guy, it's like the college dudes, right? Or no, no, no. Is that Nick's team? Or? Be, yeah, Nick's team is Nick, uh, yeah, Ethan, yeah. the Stills, them. That's Be Kind. The rookies, the last season rookies. Yeah. Boobie, boobies are boobies. Yeah, yeah, Mc, McLaren's is B equals MC squared. All right, all right. I don't mind the BGs taking a while between these maps. Obviously, a, a lot riding on this set for them. This set could determine which sleuth uh, BGs end up in. They're currently three and two right now uh, today. So we'll see how it goes. All right, night map. The other map, the other set on the other cab hasn't started yet. I would like to start that set soon, so I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna pester those teams about it after this map. Okay, KT wins the high open, but Gold Warriors still form out of the low gates, and this is something I'm talking about. It's like KT opens high, but none of the Vanillas try to get up out of mid. The speed did, and meanwhile, Blue Snail is already well off the rope. Great pick there by KT, taking out Jerry, and that Snail continues to roll. Good job there by Emily and uh, Virginia there to stop the snail from moving. Oh, we got BGs running some berries. Interesting strat here. Jerry's going to opt to get up, though. I believe they're going to turn into a snail team now because that snail is at the waterfall. Oh, and Emily just a little bit rough on the J. And uh, Liam goes down. Jerry takes out someone. Jerry takes out Brenly. So only one warrior now for uh, Show Me the Honey. They should be able to move that snail back now. They're still running berries even when snail's that far off. I think you got to ride that snail back at this point. And they do. They have speed Jason bringing that snail back. So that snail progress. Show me the honey's going to lose that snail progress. Real quick, good feed there. Oh, and Jerry nearly takes out KT, but good job establishing in time. Oh, and all the drones are getting taken out. Bee Gees are wiped and locked out. And I was just saying this when when uh, when Show Me the Honey has sorry when Show Me the Show Me the Honey has a lockout they don't give it up easily Emily goes down there good kill by KT good chase down okay so Liam is up trying to make something happen but KT takes him out oh but Emily takes out KT that's her first though plenty of time left in this map for both these teams. There's no gates for BG, so they're unable to form more warriors. And now that Liam's down, oh, and KT takes that Emily just barely. And 2 nothing in favor of Show Me the Honey. A 
All right. So dust map here. Show me the honey up 2-0. Heading into dusk. Meanwhile, I'm going to get the other set going because it's not going. Uh, I already missed a queen kill, damn. Uh, KT takes out Emily, just absolutely murderous. And now trying to get Liam up. Oh, dangerous walk under by KT, very Ortega-esque. Um, All right, I'm back. Sorry. Just getting stuff coordinated across all these teams. Oh, no way. Oh, that's our results. Yeah, that's our results. I was with. There he goes. Oh, no, no, no. All righty. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, BGs are getting control of this map again. That snail is definitely moving for the BGs. They got a couple warriors up. They're trying to get Liam up speed. Emily's in a tough spot though, and when she's on last, that can get interesting. Jerry goes down. Last up is Virginia. Going low for the snail, and Emily gets caught. All right, so last set, uh, last map for Show Me the Honey BGs. BGs fall to three, and they will finish the day three and three. Show Me the Honey is a. Um, they will finish five and one. So Show Me the Honey, we now can confirm, will be in the Honey Sleuth, which is convenient considering they already have Honey in their name. So that's good. As far as who, uh, which of these other Arlington teams, uh, we know Quantum Bees will be in Bumble Sleuth. But as far as which of these other teams are going to end up in. Uh, Bumble versus Honey. It's going to depend on the game that's happening on the other cab right now. Death from above, Quantum Bees. So here we go. Meanwhile, shout out to Buck Around and Find Out for getting second place in the 40 tournament. That's awesome. And I believe also a top six finish for Eduardo 40 hands. So D DFW representing across the country over there. Oh, great drip kill by Emily. I see you. That was spicy. Uh, these BGs are just pouring in berries right now. A ledge is finally up for blue. Great J by Emily immediately clears that hive. That blue snail is kind of moving though. Uh, we're tied up on berries. Um, that snail pressure is kind of legit, but it's not that bad. They're, they ought to bring it back, which I think is an okay move. 
Four berries out for Show Me the Honey here. Bee Gees are also going to be four berries out after this. Meanwhile, that blue snail continues to move. This is interesting. Oh, nice pick there by Liam. Takes out KT. Two berries out now, but a queen kill. That's Emily's first death of the of the map. KT is on last. Liam holding on for dear life at this ledge. Let's see what happens here. Trying to trying to get this last berry in to show me the honey. Are they able to get it? Oh, they get it. KT stays alive and it's 4-0 in favor of Show Me the Honey. They will be playing in the Honey Sleuth. That is for sure guaranteed locked in. That is how it goes. Yeah, so they, they are the winners of this event, if, the, if this event has a winner. It has two winners, really, but they're the first one. Great set, great set. So meanwhile, let's go over to this other set that we have to watch. One second. Yeah, okay, so. Did they, did they already play one? Yeah, they already played one. Okay, Death from above one? Uh, I don't know. They're about to start, so I don't know. Well, I mean, they're not starting on night map. I know, but like, I don't know who won, and I don't want to ask Who them. won map one? None of us are watching. Okay, shit. We'll ask them later. Okay.
Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Are we live? Are we live? Cool, we are live. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're here live at Free Play Arlington. It's about 8.48 on the dot. We've got casuals going on. I'd like to give a shout out to Free Play Denton. Free Play Denton is uh, doing their Killer Queen casuals as of, as of right now. I'd like to give a really big shout out.
will keep the other team together. Okay? So that way you guys have a queen. Okay, can you use the No!
cooler. That's that's a fucking cooler if I've ever felt it. Holy shit. Well, my entire team walked off, so. <laughs>
would be a time for that board. Do I get, I can see if I can get that going. Everybody signed up for Warrior as a seven. <laughs> Everyone said Warrior. Yeah, but the song is not going to I am going to end up on objective because no one wanted to do that. I mean, it's just. Yeah. What is it for a sign up for? Sign up for this whiteboard. Let's go. Hey, we got a whiteboard started. Sign up for this whiteboard. Gear mode, tits. That's how you grab Yeah, so you're like, it'll, it'll, I'll show you, man. Click sign up. What? We don't want to hear about your head game anymore. It doesn't matter what you click. You click like sign up, and you put like what you're interested in doing, and then does it save, and then like, yeah, sure. We were playing a casual match, and I was bouncing up Yeah, I'll turn this off. I don't know why this is still here. Um, you can just put it on this regular string? I don't know if you can connect this one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why this is the way it is. I don't know why it's still trying to tell me that this is going on when it's not. Well, could you just take that off and just put regular string? I don't know how to do that. I'll turn it off. 
up, yeah. Alright, it's not the fact that we really, really need it, right? It just, it just threw me off for a second, that's all. Or you can 